it's time. Sorry about the uh, confusion and kind of crazy hecticness, I guess. Is that a word? Before the stream, changing the times and stuff. I thought there was like no way I'd be able to get everything done before 10. And lo and behold, I was back before 10. Um, I could have started at 10. Uh, but I figured I'd take the opportunity to eat since I already told you guys I would be late. So shovel some food in my face. And here we are. Still earlier than, than I was going to be. So, um, so <laughs> my plan tonight was to play like every Emika game, or at least I figured I'd get to like half, most of them. Um, Looking through now, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I might get like two done. I didn't realize these games are like two hours long. <laughs> I thought, because I know that Emika has, he almost quit making games because people were refunding his games after finishing them because they were less than two hours. Um, and you can refund them in that case. And I didn't remember them being that long. I thought like maybe like an hour to an hour and a half. Because I think the new one, like I'm counting to six. I don't think that was like over an hour. But yeah, it looks like they're like a, a good couple hours each. So <laughs> we'll see how this goes. We will see how this goes. <clears throat> let me um, let me post to Discord real quick because people might not know I'm actually live now. Uh, but yeah, I am so freaking excited for this. Finally, revisiting all Amica games and playing some Amica games I've never played before. So there are a few of them I have not played. So this is going to be cool. Uh, I haven't played the earliest Amica games, so I haven't played Locked Up or Find Yourself. Those are the only two that I haven't played, but I haven't played those two. So those are the ones we're going to start with. I think they're the first ones. And we're just going to go in order from the oldest Emika game to the newest. So locked up, then find yourself. Uh, what about from day to day? Where does that fall in line? So locked up is from April 24th, 20... 2020. Damn, in four short years, Emika has become such a force in the horror gaming space. It's pretty amazing. Hey, Melio, how's it going? I was just going over the game plan for tonight. Uh, saying I was... <laughs> at first, I thought I'd be able to get to most of these, and uh, after looking through them, maybe that's not going to be the case. I didn't realize most of these are like close to two hours. Not quite two hours, but close to it. Oh, is it? Huh. So, the very first Imica game released on your birthday. How about that? That's like fate right there, isn't it? That's crazy. Your favorite horror game developer. They released their, your, their first game on your birthday. That was a good birthday present. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so that was April 2024, and then February 2021 is Find Yourself. Um, okay, let me find... What was that one called? From Day to Day, right? Because I'll go ahead and play that, too. I think that's the only demo that they have. Um, that's only the demo. This, oh, it's not going to have a release date because it's a demo. It's not technically released. Ah, oh, that sucks. I hate that. Uh, maybe it will say it. If I kind of hover over this. Nope. I feel like this was the second thing they put out. Because I would, I don't know, should I, should I throw this one in the mix? And I did talk to some Russian horror game developers who knows uh, Emma, Emika. Um, 
and he is still working on this game. So it it should end up being something pretty damned amazing. Uh, okay, yeah, let me look and see when From Day to Day came out. I remember I got so stuck on this when I played it the first time. Okay, so it's on itch. Itch might have the date. Yeah, it will actually for sure. When you click more info. Oh. Is there not the more info button like every itch page has? Really? That's wonderful. <laughs> Gosh damn it. That's just crazy. Uh oh, here it is. 20 December 9th, 2020. Okay, so from day to day is their second second game. Okay. Uh how How'd you like the thumbnail, Mel? I had a couple of options for a thumbnail. And I ended up going with this one. The one that ended up taking me the longest to do. And it's kind of not my favorite, but... I like it. Um, I had another option where I just used, like, the clown and the, like, doll from September 7th. And my face. And then another one where I just used, like, a square from every, like, the title of every game. Um, but... Yeah, I don't know. I think this one's kind of cool. I, I have a second version of this one also with my face in it because Sock told me that'd be a funny idea. Um. Okay, so this is locked up. It's the first project developed in 2020 by the studio Emika Games consisting of one person. Locked up is Psycho Horror Baum Fingstein. I don't know. Sock might have to tell me what that says. Locked up. Uh, okay, average time to complete is 120 minutes, so two hours. All right. Seizure warning. Seizure warning. Uh, main focus of the game is on exploring the environment in a closed space, which will change after interacting with it. Rely on your intuition and carefully study the details of the game. Over time, the tension will increase, creating an effect of insanity. The plot is not revealed linear linearly. Almost uh, without notes in the game world. Oh, that's cool. This game is not suitable for those who are looking for a dynamic horror with action elements and a fast-paced plot. That's cool. This sounds perfect. So what I seen one person say was this is PT, but like you can actually play it. <laughs> so we'll, we'll see. We will see. up for the first time. Hey, I wonder how I will do at a game like this. It's not linear. It's about exploring and seeing what changes. I don't know. It worries me a little bit. Okay, definitely have to forget not to. Don't forget to record. And I'm also not going to do the sin counter for this because it's Imica. <laughs> yeah, right. We all know they're good. They're all good. Even from, oh, how did you like from day to day, Mel? The newest one. Oh, gosh. Jeez, didn't you just do that? That sucks. Um. Huh? Is this in featured? Oh yeah, my heart rate monitor. Doc will be so mad at me if I forget about that. Yeah. 
And this first game here looks exceptionally scary, so it'll be a good one. Just making sure all my audio tracks are perfect because I don't want to screw this up because these are the games I'm counting on releasing for VODs all week, so. Two, three, three, two. Those are the two important ones. Anything else is either four or five, or six. Okay, cool. This is supposed to be six. Okay. Training three people, too? Uh, well, at least that's more hands on deck, I guess. <laughs> Hopefully that speeds things up. Do I have my heart rate monitor off here? Only visible on stream. I'll turn it on for the VOD, maybe. No, we'll just do it on stream. Okay. And then... Okay, perfect. Recording. Okay, cool. Let's begin Locked Up by Emika Games. Guess I gotta maybe check out the settings, of course. Okay, audio is one setting, up or down. Graphics. Okay. Wow, this game had a render scaling option back then, huh? That's cool. Ultra settings, hell yeah. Okay. And key bindings, nice. Flashlighter F. Interact, left mouse button, focus look, middle mouse, oh, no. I want that to be this. Damn. Okay. Okay, now I'll set these where I actually want them. Hey, what's up, Got World? How you doing? Um, yeah, I don't know if it's like totally VHS style of a game. Let me see. No, I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure it's not. This is the very first game that Emika ever put out. Um, not sh sure if you know who Emika is, but they are awesome. <laughs> um. Yeah, they make really, really good games. I think they've only made like six or seven games or five or something. I plan on trying to play all of them. Well, I'm not going to play all of them. I'm going to play as many as I can tonight. Let's see here. Make this my camera. Oh, this focus. I'm going to make right mouse button focus. And this will be camera. Middle mouse flashlight lighter. Okay, cool. Something random. Okay. Cool. So left mouse to interact, right mouse to zoom. And then thumb mouse for camera, middle mouse flashlight, other thumb mouse lighter. All right. That seems pretty damn good. Easy to do. All right. 
Sweet. Just here to drop a like, heading out to work. Alrighty, Nick. We'll see you when you get to work. If if you care to join us again. Okay. I'm gonna jump over to a different scene real quick to do an intro for YouTube because these are gonna be my VODs this week. And um then we'll begin the game. Dust on my hat. Oh, you can see through me a little bit. My light's not on all the way. Up. Wait a minute. Too much, way too much. Okay, it must be in my color key. Oh, shit. It's not on. Am I on the right? Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh. That's the one I'm looking for. Had it. Perfect. I don't know what the hell I've done wrong. I don't know why my chair is showing up now. It never has before. There we go. Should be able to get close here. Why will it not? Is my chair like dark or something? Like What the hell? Sorry, guys. I'll, I'll have the game going in just a sec. I don't know what the... Oh, shit. What I'm doing here. It's got to be here. It's just driving me crazy that my chair is showing up. Oh, like my color key's not doing shit right now, that's why. Whoa. Huh. Well, let me get rid of... Hmm. Much, okay. So weird. Yes, yeah, super sorry. So touchy. It's just, it's like it does not want to, um, to see my messy bedroom or bedroom office uh, I am not cool with this like I have got to get this taken care of it's driving me absolutely crazy It's just like never been an issue before. Like what the hell could be the problem? That's what I'm wondering. <laughs> I I give me like one more minute maybe. If I mean if if I got to deal with having a green chair sh show up, it's fine. It is what it is. In that case, though, I'd probably just take off the cover off my chair because it's kind of ugly. I guess I normally don't notice it because normally I don't go like full screen like this and just have the game behind me.
Yeah, it just like does not want to um do what I want it to do. Alright, whatever. It is what it is. It's not like this is live TV. Gosh, that door frame in my face is kind of driving me crazy. Okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> Cannot stand this. Uh, maybe I do. I have the brightness up too high. Maybe I'm usually a little less. Oh, holy shit! That's it. Oh wait, now it went away. Okay, yeah, I think I had the brightness turned up too high on my cameras or on my 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 lights in here. I guess I don't know. All right, let's begin. Oh. Uh, Hey, today I am starting a marathon of Emika Games, which is one of my two favorite horror game developers. And we are beginning with their very first game. And for the next few days, we're going to be working our way through all of their games. And this first one is locked up. It's supposed to be a couple hours long. Hopefully I can get it edited down to about an hour for you. Um, and it's non-linear. You got to pay attention to what's going on. Not a lot of action, it said, but... Um, about it's very much about exploring the the environment so if you like that psalm game from the other day you'll probably definitely like this and if you like other emica games you'll probably like it because all their games are awesome so let's begin all right you guys ready That's so funny. The chair's just gone. No, well, it comes back sometimes. You play an interactive psychological thriller that takes place in a closed space. You have to interact with the surrounding objects in order to move along the plot. Rely on your intuition and put the story together. The plot is revealed gradually, almost without notes, in the game world. You play an... Okay. I was saying the same thing. Go. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited for this one and um, Find Yourself. They're the two Emika games I have not found. Okay, so yeah, it definitely starts off with the VHS filter. I think that goes away, but I'm not sure. Missing Child, Martha Foster. Last seen Thursday, April 12th, 1979. Call Center Police Department at blah, 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 age 6, 535, 50 pounds, blue eyes. Put on the bag. And then this one. It's a photo of like a barn out in the, in the woods, I guess. Okay, let's go. Oh, maybe that's the barn right in front of us. Better get a flashlight before I leave. That'd be a good idea. Certainly. Oh, how did I miss that? Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, shit. There's somebody standing there in the doorway already. The key bindings didn't save. Seriously, I put all that time into it. Hold on, let me get those fixed. Uh, uh, are these one of those games where you can change the key bindings and they don't actually change? Yeah, that would appear to be the case. All right, whatever. The default key bindings aren't crazy bad or anything. Hello? Hey, who are you? I was just coming to look for a... Where did you go? What the hell is this? Now, what's the zoom button? Oh, I can't get over there. Damn it, there's a wall. Somebody hanging in the trees. And children's toys. So that must be what happened to this girl. 
Hey, Mamek, how you doing? This game is called Locked Up. It's Imika's very first game. So the developer that made Summer of 58, um, September 7th, Father's Day, and a recent game called I'm Counting to Six. This is the first game that they made called Locked Up, right? Is this Locked Up or Find Yourself? This is called Locked Up. <laughs> Wait, I can't go in? And if I was to do sins for this, it would already have one for uh, the key bindings, not setting. How you doing, Mamek? Did you stream it all tonight? Uh-oh. Somebody over there, too. I don't know what button's to press because I changed the key bindings and they didn't change. I guess I can just go back and set it to default. And then it won't let me go in the house either. This is going to be fun. Oh, it will let me go. Okay, I just kind of hit a wall on the stairs or something. Little dollies, little ballies. Sucky job, Mommy. Okay. Real quick before we get very far. Um, so all the games that I'm recording tonight, I'll be putting out like standalone VODs on them. Hopefully I get to a few games. Uh, so how I'm going to interact with chat is I'm probably going to not interact. I'll pay attention to what you're saying, but I probably won't stop and talk to you until like I find a nice place where I can make a cut in the video. Um, just because I, I don't like to keep all that in the VOD. I like to kind of let it just be the gameplay. So, um, yeah. So if I'm not responding right away, just wait a minute. I'll stop, and then I'll talk to you, and then I'll get back to the game. Ha, <laughs> Oh, no way, Mamek. Definitely not. It's, yeah, drywall sucks, dude. Setting up OBS is fine. I like doing that. It's fun. Did you ever get your um audio tracks figured out? Are those the papers for the missing girl? So I wonder if the... Okay, so this is like an orphanage or something? something like out in the middle of nowhere? We just got a Mom and Martha. Had to add them back to the main source to get it to work. That's weird. We're gonna. Well, I'll go over that again with you, Mama. That's strange. That's not how it should be. Hey, a door opened. I don't know where. I don't see any doors. Definitely a creepy vibe in here. What? Oh. Oh, the front door closed. Oh, shoot. Okay, so this is going to be fun. I feel like it's going to be an awful lot of this. I wish I could... I need to figure out what the zoom button is because it might come in handy. What if 
I just hit default, and then what was it by default? Focus is middle mouse button. Okay, I can also set like alternates over here if I. Okay. So middle mouse is the default focus. All right, I would have never tried that, so, okay. Whoa, whoa, I just inverted them. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, I did totally hit invert. Okay. Ah, middle mouse is focused, okay. What am I looking for? Jeez. Okay, there's some pages over here. Can't grab them. All right, I feel like I'm going to do... Re oh, should have known. This... You guys can hear that whispering, I'm hoping. It's saying stuff like, your end is near. This is going to happen to you. Somebody's going to record your head getting sawed off on September 23rd. Damn, I feel like September 23rd, is that an important date? Oh, today is September 23rd. Oh. Yikes. Okay, is the door open yet? Alright, who thinks that... Oh, shit. Hey, who are you? Is there a hole in you? Why would I turn around? She's gone. Go figure. Uh, okay. Okay, the door is open. And there's somebody out there again. There's multiple. There's. Oh, what is out there now? Oh, oh cool. Said that. What are you, the Adams family? Alright, 17 years later, so this would be 1997. Definitely digging the vibe of this so far. Okay. <laughs> we got an achievement for making it here, I guess. Called an empty room. What? Well, how is that possible? You have no flashlight. Oh, that's awesome. The door is locked. Okay, it was just timed, I think. Wait. Thought I just heard it unlocked. Maybe I'm going insane. Oh, maybe one of these just unlocked. Oh. 
Okay, we've got a symbol. I'm gonna write that down. I really need to find my regular little notepad. I feel like there might be more there. It's kind of hard to... It's pretty obscured. Damn. Still locked. For real, Holmes? Oh! Seriously. You're schneidious. Left mouse, interact. Middle mouse, E. Focus. Oh, middle mouse, and E is focus. Flashlight and lighter is F. Cameras. Let's go. What? What the? Whoa! Momic, thank you, sir. Hey, did that come through? Did you guys hear that? Did that actually work this time? The text-to-speech? Please tell me it worked. Damn, Momic. You are awesome, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, I will request, though, if anybody does... I, I never would will ask for money. But if anybody does want to super chat or anything tonight... Um, if you would donate to the GoFundMe that's in the description instead, I would certainly appreciate that. I would rather the money go there right now. Um, but thank you, Momic. It's awesome. No, you are amazing, my friend. Thank you. Found a box from the previous owners. August 28, 1997. Hey, but I can't take it. <laughs> uh, I might need to find a way to get those to sync up a little bit better. <laughs> no? Okay, let me see. I definitely seen the... Um, I heard it. It said to me, it said, Roderick donated $20. That was different than this. When it just did the... Dah, but it did a text-to-speech thing a second ago. Um, Which would be... Where would that be? I literally just uh, saw it a minute ago. Hmm. I don't know. Oh, is this it? It is... Monitor only mute output. That's why. Okay. Because I think I had this on before and it was reading every message, which I don't want it to do. But just now, it's not been doing that tonight. It only just did the super chat. So hopefully that's better now, and it doesn't read out every every message. Oh my gosh, I'm still stuck here. And look at this: the year 2020 when this game was made, before everybody just used pictures that are built into Horror Engine. <laughs> There's no Alcatraz in here. There's no dog laying in the dirt. <laughs> so I can grab the tape, but then I can't take... Oh, what's this? Whoa. Oh, that's crazy. Frank, Alice, and Mary. April 9th, 1992. Hey. Look like a ritzy little group. Okay. Oh. Okay, so we're... Okay, I, I kind of get it. We're jumping through time right now in this office, this room. It's, um... The date's changed. Oh, look, I didn't even realize the VHS filter's gone, too. Uh, Dardellus for at da, 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 warships. Okay, so this is old. Turkish strongboats. U.S. firms are aiding British in its charge. Is there a date on this? Seems very old. Catholic celebrity in Mexico City held for ransom. 
hundreds who are armed, nothing has happened. Oh, yeah, it says it right up there. No, okay, November 30th, 1994. Oh, is this like Cold War stuff then? I assumed it was like World War II stuff. Deep psychology. Okay, where's the father? Oh, Mary didn't want to leave our house. Oh, no. Maybe she stayed for eternity. Oh. Shouldn't have left him at home. Man. I don't know why. Like... Horror games don't deal with suicide all the time. And now I've played two games in one week that have. The one week where I wish I didn't. Oh, where did this come from? This is crazy how all this keeps changing. Uh, who is this? I feel like I've seen him before. 1907. Name. Oh, is that... Orange Cassidy? Is that his name? Orange... That might be, uh, like a gangster's name or something. Okay, so there's a map. Gas. Through the woods. And then there's, like, a lighthouse. And it says search area. At the... In the lake. Where there's a lighthouse. Okay. Let me out of this room. I'm going to go freaking crazy in here. It's 2.25 a.m. Like, some games definitely do a good job at... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Yeah. Got a bunch of pills. Sedative. All the paintings are down. Crosses everywhere. Lights flicker. Picture has changed. Bill, Matilda, Kate, Grace, Nil, March. 1986. 1986? No, that had to have been 1896, right? Because that does not look like a picture from 1986. Unless they literally lived like smack dab in the middle of Kansas. Arkansas, maybe. Oh my gosh, we're still locked in the damn room. Oh man, have fun with that, <laughs> Momic. That's very intense. Whoa. Shit. Yeah, I was gonna say some game. Most, I think most horror games that try to build like tension in like an aggravating fashion don't do it very well and it just ends up being aggravating and you don't get the like tension that they're aiming for but this game is it's doing a good job at the, the tension building cause she's a nun man <laughs> yeah um yeah, like the really strong ones will just like break across or turn it upside down or throw it across a room or whatever, huh? Catch it on fire. 
wasn't there was it in a conjuring movie that oh oh the one with the uh the was it the first no the second no the first the first annabelle where the father's like holding the cross and the demon like breaks his fingers off of it oh gosh that was a rough scene that was rough That movie was crazy. The one where they like um, have like a group home for girls because their their daughter's the one that died. Okay, I don't have a camera yet or a flashlight. Bill Matilda's wedding. That picture has seen better days. That's Annabelle creation. Okay. Which isn't the first Annabelle, is it? It's just the creation story, but it's like the, it's the second Annabelle. Is it like Annabelle or is it Annabelle, the Annabelle creation, then Annabelle coming home? I don't remember what order they go in, but yeah, that, that scene in particular, man, I was like, Oh shit. Stuff looks sick. Okay, what do I interact with now? This, maybe? October 28th, 1994. Is that right now? That picture was taken just now, wasn't it? How'd that get on the floor? Um, it's taken from like right here. What do I do? Can I do anything? Do I just wait? Uh, okay, we might be somewhere totally different now. So just real quick, I'm just going to give a couple thoughts on this game. One thing that I like that about it so far, one thing that I don't. Um, usually, I don't like a go around and find the next random ass thing to interact with to trigger something else to happen. But kind of, I feel like that's just what this game is and they're not trying to do much of anything else with it. So I kind of like it. Um, it works. What I, what I don't like are the timed things like just now or earlier when the like door was locked or something. Um, when you're just like, I don't know what to do. There's nothing left to do. And then like a certain amount of time passes, then something triggers. That's just, but it's the time usually isn't long enough for me to actually get upset about it. But just that short amount of time, it's like, ugh. Okay. That's crazy. I didn't realize they've been putting these assets in games for this long. And they still scare the shit out of me. Look. Look at what? Look at that blood splatter right there. It kind of looks like a sideways face.
This game is nuts. Dude. That's crazy. It's hard to believe this is somebody's very first game. Turn on chat chatting. Oh, that's fine, Mel. I totally understand. It kind of sucks because this would be the night for you to be chatting. <laughs> but I totally understand. Plus, you've got recruits, <laughs> rookies, <laughs> trainees that you're working with. So, hey, I I get it. You have to you have to be a good example, right? This is cool how like fast everything's just like changing in this game. Like n normally, like I wouldn't like something like this, but it it just works so well with this game. It's impressive. What the hell is that sound? Sounds like a freaking demon is breathing. Unlock. Did this? It's just it's shut, I think. Okay. Should I just keep going into the darkness? Better get a flashlight. Wait, there's a flashlight here? Where? Where the hell's the flashlight? What's this? Ah, that unlocked the drawer. Okay. I, I'm kind of getting how this works. There we go. Yeah, it's not always interacting with something per se, like not clicking on it, but sometimes just looking at something, focusing on it or looking at it long enough triggers. You said that. I don't want your mockingbird, mama. Probably possessed. It's probably where Annabelle came from. I look at every little damn thing. Has this changed? I don't remember all these boxes and stuff before. Oh, a rope. that all right granny huh. it's crazy that was like an actual picture looks like a very small woman or maybe just a very tall table Definitely seen that picture before, but not in a horror movie. Yeah. Okay, is this door unlocked yet? Uh, nice, Mel. Nice. I'm 
shot this person did not use a nightmare as in spray. Oh, I know, right? Yeah, like the worst nightmare ever, probably. He makes really good games, like, and this being, most of the time you see like a new game from an indie developer, it's usually not very good. This one's pretty damn good. The idea of it, the gameplay of it, the only thing that's like been kind of broken about it is the key bindings not working. Which sucks. But it's not like a big deal. They were safe then. January 23rd, 1991. What happened after that? Why aren't they safe anymore? Oh, shh. Yeah. No, no, no. I wanted to see what was in there. Okay, probably better that I don't see what's in there, honestly. Mirror's gone. It is 2.25. One, that clock's wrong. I don't even know what time it's supposed to say. What time would you guys say this is? Is it 2.25 or 1.25? Yeah, I don't, I think it's just wrong. It's, it can't be either of those. If you're knocking, you're gonna have to let me in. You're you're the one on the side with the lock. Somebody did not like that. She did not like that. Evil winch, you must be gone. Oh, look, the cross in there is upside down now. Guess I can pull out the rest of the candles. That lets me. Lucky you didn't burn the house down with these. Seems a little dangerous, honestly. Man, this one's even worse. What a mess. unlocked. Maybe the drawer in here again? Oh, come on. Something just unlocked. Come on. Something unlocked. I heard it. One of my favorite pictures in here, too. Hey, you in there. Open up. If you're not going to possess me. If you're going to possess me, don't open it.
Hmm. What am I missing, guys? This is the first uh, time being pretty stuck here. Oh, how about that? Who hates who? What do you hate? No reason to hate anything. We could talk about it. Why did it make an unlocking sound if there's nothing unlocked now? to light the candles back up. Now without a flashlight, or a <laughs> flashlight, a lighter. Oh. We love going on vacation with the whole family. Alice liked to play ball since childhood. that to trigger. What about this one here? Okay. Yeah, something can happen. I think the clapper's broken. Yeah, this is very PT-esque. Maybe not as hard as PT, though. Like, P PT, there's no way I would have ever finished PT without help. Okay, do I need to take this to someone? Maybe the girl on the other side of the door. Like, still after I've played and beaten PT, if I had to go back and play it again, and that was only a few months ago, I would probably not be able to. Uh, I don't know what to do now. I can't drop this thing. Guess I have to figure out where to place it. Wait, where did it go? Oh, I had to put it there. That's right. Makes sense. <laughs> Don't be sad. What are all these words? Din, Sin, H, L, Jadem, Das, Sin, Wrath. Sin, 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 sin. You, 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 sin, sin, sin. Nope, I don't. Sorry. Ah, oh, shit. Well, you didn't do it, did you, little, little thing? What's this say? Sam... 
Samael Lilith. So, did mother kill her child? Yeah, she regrets it. are gone and the time has not changed I wonder what kind of timing I'm making on this game if I'm doing an average speed slow fast I feel like I'm going kind of slow now I feel like I need to find a lighter to light these or something. Ew. Stomp on him. Okay. Maybe these are trying to tell us something. That's one of the weirdest things I've seen. You guys went in there? Okay, you have to focus on it? The cross, maybe? I feel like these things are giving me a hint. But I think my feeling is wrong. Uh, who's Evelyn? What do you need from me, little Roshis? Sure my cat's not under me. Alright, maybe now that we've looked at the roaches, there's something on this end. On this end. Oh, yeah. I was that there the whole time? Dad, we know you're not guilty. We hope you will be released soon. With love. Dad. Oh, man. February 1993. Wait a minute, Kairos just suggested a game. Waking Tides. Have I seen this one? Just came out yesterday. Oh yeah, I saw this and it was a little expensive. And I didn't quite know if it was horror or not, but now looking through the pictures, it does look very horror. Huh. Well, maybe I'll be able to check that out this week. Oh, Resident... Oh, okay, okay, okay. If you remember, I have not played Resident Evil 7 yet. I played, what did I play the other day? Resident Evil 3? And then I played, I don't know what Resident Evil back in the day, but only the 3 make is all I've played so far. Like recently that I kind of remember. <laughs> I don't remember any of their names. Okay, so did the father, did they have another kid that died maybe? 
And the dad's in jail for it? It's the longest hallway ever. Whoa. You can't get out. Nice smell. Thank you. Grab it. Okay. Zoom. Is that what I'm going to see when I turn around? Okay, hold on. Getting some more Discord going on here. Decimate Drive. Oh. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it's on my wish list. No, okay. I had this in my cart at one point. This Decimate Drive. But I was a little... Not sure about it. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to pick that up soon. Thanks for linking that in the in the discord now I know to remember to go find it did I say already that this is the longest hallway I've ever been in because it most certainly is the longest hallway I've ever been in probably longer than PT Uh, battery. It's so crazy that almost nothing in the game you can actually interact with. You can, like, touch it, but that just means you can actually go that just change something. Okay, 11.29. That's actually correct. That clock. Can't be making good speed at this game. Shall I listen to the radio? Sounds like it has nothing to really say. Did that open? Ah, come back. Nope, give me that. Key to the freaking finally. Now, which door does it go to? This one that I've been trying to get in the whole time? No. Front door? I don't know. Um... Well, I, yeah, a lot of people I notice in the um, the horror gaming disco Discord when people ask like like what's the best horror games, a lot of people say Resident Evil Seven, or like what's like some really scary horror games. People say Resident Evil Seven, which I'm always like, there ain't no Resident Evils that are that scary, but <laughs> maybe Seven is. Maybe I need to give that a try. Um, which playlist, Mel? Is it the um? Russian horror. It's this one. Finally. <laughs> All right, a little change of scenery now. Hey, welcome back, Nick. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back.
And um Is it a is it Resident Evil 7 also that people say is really good in VR? Does not work. Oh, great. Flashlight, it doesn't work. Love that. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, we're not even in a new hallway. We're still in the same one. I'm gonna cry. Uh, okay. Maybe, oh, do I have to take the battery to the flashlight? That makes sense. back to the VHS filter. They did a really good job at this game at implementing VHS filter. It's like not there the whole time. It's there sometimes, which does really good for like the atmosphere of the game. upside down. They're all upside down. And now they're right side up. And now the VHS filter's gone. Suitcase. Ah. Oh, now we have a camera. of the... Do we need to take a picture of the clock? I feel like there's going to be something scary here when I do this. Uh, no. Maybe not. Nope. Nothing scary. I forget how much of a challenge in monkey games can be. But so good at the same time. Let's take a picture of this. Maybe we should take a picture of this. Okay. Some. Not it. Well, son of a gun. I would be horrified by this house. Yeah, for real. <laughs> no joke. Oh, nice. Yeah, that psychological one's going to be really long, though. I pretty much, like, add most of the games I play to that playlist. Okay. 
Can we open it, maybe? No. Okay. So far, I'm not seeing anything with the pictures. Wait. Just wondering. This is the room we were trying to get in the whole time, right? No, it does not look any different. I guess I'll just keep going around taking pictures till I find something that looks different. Doing this right. Okay, there's another mirror here. I can try to take a picture. That's not a mirror, is it? Nope, just a shield on the wall. What? I can't take any more? Oh, I've been shaking it off. I won't. We need to talk. Okay, now maybe we go take a picture of that other door. Maybe I had to be closer to it the first time. So I had to get really close to that clock because I already tried to take a picture of it once. Why would this picture be here if it's not telling me to take a picture of that door? Oh. I tried that already. Go on. Why did it work this time? They put this um, wall sconce in the most perfect place so that when you're walking in this hall, it looks like there's somebody like there right around the corner. Did a really good job with that. Oh, 
Holy shit. Oh, that one's messed up. Okay, which one said lies? Was it this one? I think it was that one. I've taken a picture of everything, only that room. Uh, looked weird. And, but then I couldn't get in it. This is insanely time consuming. Checking hair everywhere. Oh, here's some pictures. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so that's a picture in this hallway. I think I might have taken this one already. And then this one. Oh, I took this one already. Okay. So it wants me to take another one from down there. Let's do that. So right here. I don't even want to uh, expose this one. No. No. Who did that? Oh, that's messed up. I don't know how annoying it's getting hearing me go over and over. And over. Okay, I'll try to stop taking pictures so I think it'll make a difference. But I kind of feel like that's what it wants me to do. Just walk around and take pictures until I figure something. Cr well, I guess there are like clue pictures around, so I need to find... Oh shit, okay. There we go, something happened. Yeah, you you know what to do. Now's the time. Do it. There is an entity in this house. Very strong entity. I think that tries to get people to hurt each other. It's not a revelation though. <laughs> of course. that bouncy ball sound come from oh somebody there Moving. 
Okay, let's take a picture of the ball. Nothing. Sure, I'll figure out where to go next. I do keep figuring it out. And I'm I'm kind of proud of myself. I usually would not do very good at like this. Run around, find the slightly little change thing or trigger something. I doubt this is what I need to do, but Nope. Oh, bathroom's open. Whoa! How did I know I'd be looking right there when I walked in? There we go. Picture of the painting of the path. A toy was on the floor. Uh, that ball or something else? Because if it was that ball, I took a picture of it, but if it was something else, then I'll look for it. But yeah, I need to go take a picture of this painting here. Which is in this other hallway over here. There. Ah. There we go. Let's figure out what in that sort. Maybe the other door in the bathroom, possibly. Here, maybe? Damn it. Okay, two more doors. Oh, I guess it could be a drawer, too. Oh, come on. Really? It's got to be here, right? Because the balls are outside this door. Take a picture of it. Then maybe take a picture of the door. It's gotta be that room, right? Or else why would the ball be right in front of the door? Unless the ball moves, I don't know, maybe it does. Okay, yeah, maybe maybe we needed to straighten that up first. Ah.
Okay. Let's do it. This is going to be an ugly scene, I'm sure. Okay, not that bad. Yep. Electrician definitely would not like this house. <laughs> So that drawer takes a key. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, okay. Where's the O? Oh. Well, let's get this picture first. Didn't work. Okay, let's go get the phone. And it stopped. Wonderful. Oh, somebody took it off the hook. What? Key to the drawer. All right, perfect. Hey, you. Spooky. Okay, we gotta see what's in here. Okay, a picture from the hallway. Standing right, we're right in front of the clock, basically. Alice managed to photograph the evil haunting them, March fourth, ninety-three. Key to the door. You. You're not welcome here. Okay, let's see if this picture works yet. Nope. Okay, it's gone now, so maybe I don't need to take that picture. Why do you sound like that? Oh no. The candles are back. This photograph didn't work either. Hmm. What the damn can damn demon. I'm the only one with a loud light around here. Go little lights, little candles. We're gonna burn the house down, which probably isn't a bad idea at this point. I don't think anybody would complain besides the demon and whoever he attaches himself onto <laughs> as he's leaving the burning house. Probably the one who set it on fire. <laughs> Checking doors. I don't want a little candle. I can't get to this one. Oh, there we go. Yep, 
Yeah, sorry I'm like the least talkative I've ever been during a stream. I am focusing so hard on this game. It is taking a lot of my concentration. I just, I don't want to be stuck at any point for too long. I want to get through it fairly quickly, which kind of sucks. I have to try to really push hard, but I want to get to many of these Emika games as possible tonight. And I know I could easily be playing this two hour game for four hours if I don't try to focus a little bit. Almost. Couple more. And boom. Oh, I missed one. Damn it. And come on. I expected something to happen. I need this camera still. I don't even know. Okay, here's a picture. Okay. That's the boy. Wait, where is this from? I don't think I've seen this area yet. Because there is... I thought maybe this is the boy walking into the... Um... Ooh, Mary was depressed. Walking into the bedroom, but there's that's not a hall behind it. That's like a whole nother room. We gotta figure out where that's at. Let me get a better look at this. Oh. Oh. Wait. Is that I don't know. Okay, we'll look for that painting. There's like a... Like a big rock structure painting. Okay. Check every door too while we're at it though. Oh, these are back down. It says hate again. I don't see that painting anywhere. Great. And now the bedroom's shut too. Awesome. Huh. I think that's the only picture that's showing up right now. Where's that painting? Come from. Was the lamp? There was a lamp in that picture. It was like a lamp like this. Um, here, let me get back to it. Let me take this picture maybe here real quick. Get back there in a sec. So, oh. there's a little table with a lamp right above it. Actually, that's kind of a big table with a lamp. I think that's like a dining table. And then right above it is a picture with um some kind of rock structure. And then there's a whole room behind it. It's on the back here. Here, I just took a screenshot. I will add it to the stream so we can keep it 
on stream while we're walking around looking for it. Screenshots. Okay. Shrink this. Drop it. So that's what we're looking for. Which I just cannot make out where this is at. There's a room with another door in the background. I don't think that's a hall. And a table with a lamp and a painting above that. I don't think we've seen that yet. I'm trying to think of like what in here might look like that. anywhere to be seen. I don't see it. Store maybe? I doubt it. Nope. Yeah, I guess we could just go take pictures of like every door. Like I was hoping it was this um table right here in this hall but I don't I don't think it is This one Yeah, I think it's the first time I've gotten like really stuck here. Was that candle it? Oh, shit. Was there a candle I forgot to put out? Oh, damn it. You right. Let's see if there's another candle I missed. Oh, wait. There's a candle here. I had kind of forgotten about candles after I thought I blew them all out. And maybe I did. Maybe that one relit and I had to go back and put it out. I'm not sure. Oh, there we go. Yuck. Screenshotting that for sure. Oh, come on. Oh, now we're here again. Still the same picture, though. Okay. Well, maybe we can find that now. What the? Oh. <laughs> There's 
them roaches again. Yeah, thanks. Good call on that candle. I was like, candles? I swear I put out all the candles. Where are you roaches going? I feel like you're usually a sign. Should I follow you? Whoa! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> That's hilarious. Dude, they look like a little army. A little roach army. Hold on, let's check these drawers. Still the same picture, it is. We are still looking for it. I could probably take it off the screen now, though. We've been looking at it for a long time. I think we all know it pretty well by now. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, very true. Nick H, very true. The Roach Army. <laughs> or they could call themselves the Infestation. That'd be kind of cool, actually. What do you think happened in here, Nick H, in this bathroom with the blood everywhere? <laughs> We've seen that before. Anatomy run amok. Hey, 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 ghost. Hello. Are you getting closer? <laughs> yeah, that's probably it.
What are these symbols? They look pretty demonic to me. <laughs> that one doesn't. <laughs> this again come on you're supposed to make something happen when I look at you Take a picture. What about of the bathtub? Nothing again. Uh. Symbols have to mean something. Hey, 69. That one says 69. And that one's a, a rocket. That's what, what I'm going to call that. That's not it. What's that symbol at? It's this one. See it up here. I've seen some of these symbols before, I feel like. Where have I seen these? What alphabet is this? Is it like Greek or something? Just look at all of them until I find something that changes in the pictures. Maybe this thing. Nope. I don't know. What do I do here? It's just one tiny little bathroom. Like, it can't be that difficult. Can it? Like, what the hell could I be missing? It seems like this would be, like, the most simplest thing. Any ideas? It's your future. <laughs> hey, what's up, Juice? How you doing? <sighs> Try the bathtub. I think I did. Maybe I need to do it from another angle. Maybe get closer to it. Nope. Like, I feel like I've tried everything. The toilet, maybe? Hey. The doors? Maybe I haven't taken a picture of the doors. The 
floor, maybe? Um, nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Eight U six three M six nine I hmm. I really don't have a clue at this point. Take a pick of the ceiling. I did. I'll do it again. I took multiple picks of the ceiling. Like I super duper duper appreciate everybody's help and input always the more input I get from you the better but a lot of times I get input to tell me to do something I already did like I feel like it's got to be this thing this is what I had to focus on before that's not it what the f how long has that been unlocked? How long has that been unlocked? That probably unlocked at some point when I was taking pictures of shit and it never gave the unlock sound and I didn't realize that it was unlocked. Well, that was a good waste of, I don't know, 10 minutes probably. All righty then. Okay, so next to the fireplace. To the left of the fireplace when you take a picture. Right here. And we gotta get closer. Hey, oh, hey, 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 this is, look what I found. I just found this right here. Damn it. I, I just found it. That's the perfect picture. <laughs> hey, you've been watching a while, Juice. Hey, Grandma Jen, how you doing? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I I think it happens a lot uh, with me because I like stream at pretty high bit rate. So I think sometimes um, the internet just kind of like falls behind a little bit. Ah, okay. Got a picture from February 28th. Somebody just sitting at their desk. Can't take it. Okay. Need a key. Oh, the has the TV been on the whole time? Man, I just kind of hope the next game's a little more linear. Oh, lighter. Come in handy. We are unwilling, trained by the unskilled, do the impossible for the ungrateful. Yeah, that sounds like blue collar work, huh? Why is it telling me to take pictures of certain places and then I do and nothing happens now? This game's trying to drive me crazy. Do you still like it? 
it's just it's harder for me to enjoy like games like this when I'm streaming because I have to like try not to be too dull and I can't just sit there and be like hmm for 20 minutes Try to take this picture again. Ew. Ugh. Some of the time, it's just better of making a closer photo. Yeah, I think maybe that's what I need to do. And how close though? Let's get closer. Try to get closer over here. Nothing. Maybe nothing. So we have a lighter that we can't take. <laughs> and this photo here. See, let me take a picture of that. It looks old. Nada. Okay. Then we have this photo. Uh, oh, is that the same desk? Okay. Let me try to take a picture of this desk. This angle, I guess, maybe here. Didn't seem like it did anything. Maybe it unlocked this uh, drawer here. No. Okay, take a picture of this. Will it unlock? Okay, let me. All right, I'm going to put the um, all of our evidence up. Let's see here, so we got this screenshot. Sitting at a desk. Just the skew button. I thought there was a straighten button. Whoa. Huh. No way. Are you kidding me? Did you guys know that um that uh the photos app in Windows has built-in background removal and blur or replace background? Are you shitting me? That's crazy. I have been using everything else under the sun to remove backgrounds, usually Adobe. Um but also remove background dot uh, gg I think is a really good one. It does a really good job at removing backgrounds. Um, but I thought there was something built in that would like unskew, and it, you could move it by like a little bit. I swear that was the thing. 
Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> it's the little uh, dial thing at the bottom. There's like a little line. Okay. There we go. And then background. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, these are going to be some awesome games tonight, Grandma Jen. They should just get better and better and better. So these are like my favorite um, game horror game developer. One of my favorites. Um, my, one, one of my two favorites. It's uh, Imica and N4BA are my two favorite developers. So I'm trying to do all of Imica games. Um but they uh I, uh this one already is like taking me a while so we'll see how far i get almost done here I wonder if this was just added in. And I wonder if it's only in Windows or 11 or if it's in Windows 10 also. All right, now I just need to add all these to one picture here. First, add a little big. Another one. This one. And more. This one. Okay. Yeah. Getting all these pictures on the screen at once so that we can kind of see what clues we have right now. Save it. Place this with the new one. Where to go? Here we go. Okay. Oh shit! What the hell? Oh, that scared the shit out of me. I thought the screen, the stream was dead. Oh man, golly. Okay, sorry for goofing off on that for so long, guys. Now let me catch up on the chat. <laughs> um, sometimes you take a closer photo. Doing great, interesting game. Cannot wait to show you what we have coming up with. Learn a ton of shit over the awesome juice, dude. I can't wait to see it. And I hope you let me get early access to that. And so I can hype it up before anybody else has a chance to get their grubby paws all over it. <laughs> all right. So these are the clues we have so far. It says take a picture of this doorway, which I swear we're taking a picture of it. And then this desk, which is basically from this angle, just stepping over to the left a little bit right is there a oh no that's a different desk maybe the desk moved hold on maybe this picture here and this picture here is kind of showing the same thing um because this desk has a window behind it that desk which is uh well right over here doesn't have a window 
But maybe that desk used to be right here. So let me... And then this is saying something to the left of the fireplace, which there is a window to the left of the fireplace. So maybe the desk used to be there. So let me go take a picture over there and see if that does it. Doubt it, but maybe. <laughs> I'm trying here. I'm trying here. Shit. Well, nope. That didn't work. Different angle for this one? Nope. Okay, maybe I need to stop trying to take pictures and maybe it's something else. Well, at least I know I'm not that dumb when I have a chat room full of people and it's still like not easy to figure out. Maybe. Nope. I'm about lost as it gets this time. Glass of wine. Can't believe it won't actually let me pick up that lighter. hearing something actually for the first time This one. I just don't see what's going on. Awesome. Thanks, Juice. Um, can you tell me anything about it? What kind of game it is or anything? Okay. Yeah, what's the title? What VHS tape, Nick? I don't see one. I'm like trying to take pictures of like weird things to see if one like comes up somewhere. Cause yeah, that's what I was assuming. I have to put a tape in the VCR, but I don't see a tape anywhere. That's why I like took a picture of this bookcase. I was hoping there was one in there. Maybe I'll take a picture of this. No. There in the box. See, I, I thought that was tape, but look, that's a battery. That's a battery and a walkie talkie. I know it's like so tricky. Like it looks like that's a tape. It's not. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't pick that up, and it's not a tape either. 
<laughs> Whoa! Okay, okay. Hey. All right. I guess I just need to take a picture of what it's telling me to take a picture from from different angles that it's not telling me to take a picture from because the angle for this picture was like over here like kind of this way it was standing here oh yeah you guys can see it yeah it was like more like right here but but okay we figured that one out I still don't see like a tape or anything. You're annoying. I don't know what that did. <laughs> okay, maybe I had to take that picture before I take this picture. Which, let me... I'll try to do it from the right angle first, then I'll kind of move around. There's not like a tape on his desk or something. Hmm. Well, that's cool. We got something to happen, but then we're still pretty much like right where we were. <laughs> uh, okay, what if there's like a tape sitting next to the TV that's not there until we take a picture? Nope. Whatever this is, is very unintuitive and I do not like things to be unintuitive. It really is senseless to me. It's like, why, why would it not at least, at the very least, make sense? Like, I'm pretty sure we've thought of everything that might make sense. You know? We're going to have to look it up. I guess looking it up beats like not finding it for an hour. Uh, all right. Give me a sec. All righty. Got it pulled up. Let me get to the spot. Different distance and angles. Man, I just tried so many distances and angles. You get really close. Maybe stand right in this doorway and do it. No. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, okay. I did look it up, and there was a tape. Where do you get that tape? What the hell? Sitting next to the TV? Oh, bullshit. Bullshit. Don't you dare tell me. I... Okay, he took a picture of the couch. Okay, if this works, I'm going to be so mad. I already took that picture. This game is kind of crazy. You have, to, like, I took this picture almost at this exact same angle already. It was just facing up slightly from this. What that is. Like, literally, just now I took a picture from, from this angle before I took the picture at this angle. From standing in this exact same place. Okay, and then there was a tape. Well, I guess that's why you look it up sometimes. It makes me so mad to have to look up horror games, though. It just takes me out of the immersion so fast.
I dropped something and realized it was a great time to stretch my legs because they really needed stretched. Okay, so now what? <laughs> well, hopefully now at least something can happen. Now can I take this picture? No. I don't know how... I don't know how... I have gotten this far in this game already, honestly. <laughs> like, literally moving the camera down a couple degrees made a bit a difference. How have I made it this far? <laughs> a week in Appalachia. Ooh. Cool. That, that sounds pretty cool. I'm not thinking that. I need to take this picture. Plus, also, where the hell was the picture telling me to even take a picture of this couch? I have not seen one. It was this one? What? So now this picture's gone. Which was, oh, here, I'll move those off the screen. Um, the one here in the middle. It's so weird. So this picture in the middle. Uh, pointing at the fireplace is the picture that's gone now that I took a picture of the couch. Tell me how that makes sense. Oh, wait. That's crazy. Maybe this door is open now. It's open now. Damn it. And this one's still here. Which, this has to be like in a bedroom that I don't have access to yet. I feel like this is like the hardest room in the game. <laughs> this has been one wild ride. I'm just going to shut that drawer. Oh, maybe I do need to take the picture of this, but with the drawer shut? No. That didn't do it. I could take pictures. Oh, did I ever press play? Well, that's all me right there. I'm sorry, guys. That was all me right there. I just assumed it like auto played because it was like singing in the background. There's still so many rooms in this house that we have not gone into. I don't know if we do get to go into all the rooms. But if we do, man, that means there's still a lot left. Oh. Yeah, I don't have a camera or flashlight right now. Whoa. Oh, shit. The roaches are back. There's that picture again. Okay, we've been here before. Uh, 
this. Okay. Definitely been here. It won't let me go into dark places. Won't let me grab any of the pills. Go back this way again. Oh yeah, this is definitely changed now. Okay, yeah, this is just literally walking back and forth and then shit changes when you go back and forth. I needed to get that through my head really early on and I just have had a hard time accepting that, I think. It's a giant. <laughs> it's definitely Nick. <laughs> it's that symbol. Who are you, you giant butcher man? So I feel like a game like this is cool if it doesn't last like this long. At this point I'm ready for it to be over. And it kind of sucks that I insist on finishing every game I start now. Used to at this point I would have been done and been like alright let's move to the next one. Oh, we are out of the hallway. Ah, oh, yes. Does that mean this is like the end of the game? Damn, I hope so. I'm excited now. Let's see how long it lasts, but I am excited right now. Grab that flashlight. another car in the woods here. Wow, let me go further than I expected it to. Huh. Okay. Oh, that's that orphanage again. Damn. Wonderful. That'd be one hell of a way to go. I'm kind of happy they don't hang people now. Just imagine that. Oh, don't imagine that if you don't want to, but if you want to imagine that for a second, man, think about it. Like the last thing before you're donezo is they put a hood over your head. You can't see nothing. Except for, like, the light shining through the holes of the burlap or whatever. And then... Shh. 
shit. Am I supposed to go this way? Oh, this is like some KKK shit out here now. I think I am supposed to go this way. Oh my gosh, there's bunnies all nailed to the trees. Who are they? Did it say 1997? I'm trying to remember what the first camera said. Here, I'll jump back. The first camera said 1980. Okay, so, well, at least when we first got to the orphanage, it was 1980. Um... But I know that I know it's been 1990 something. Also, when we were in that room, it was 1990 something. Wait, wait, no, no! Oh, we're back in here again, and I don't have a freaking flashlight. It is pitch black. Golly. I have to find a battery in all this darkness. This is awesome. Oh, wait. No, wait. There's a lighter. Can I use it now? Now I can have it. Okay. Cool. I kind of like this lighter better than the um, flashlight. Honestly, I wish it, it was a lighter the whole time. I think it's much spookier. Like, it lights up the immediate vicinity better, but then you can't see shit in the distance, which is kind of cool. Maybe it wouldn't have worked so well for, like, moving around the hallway. I don't have a camera. I'm pretty sure this game has moved Emika from my top spot to my second spot. <laughs> N4BA has taken over as my favorite developer. That's the first time the game's like jump scared me like that. Gosh damn. that um but yeah m oh hey we just got a key it goes to the drawer 
Yeah, for the most part, like in four BA games are like usually much more linear and like straightforward and simple. Which is a little bit better for my little brain. Let's just say August thirtieth. Okay, here we go. This one says nineteen ninety seven Nick H. So yeah, maybe you were right. Maybe something did say 97 before. Okay, I won't forget to hit play this time. There we go. Oh, the oh no, it says 97, doesn't it? Or 87. <laughs> The previous employee did not finish their work and does not get in touch. Collect the remaining personal belongings of the former residents of this house. Leave the packed boxes in the house and our delivery service will take care of everything. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I think it's funny whenever um, there's like a note, a written note in the game and then there's like the transcript to the note. And they don't match up word for word. I just find that kind of silly. Like, they say basically the same thing. But they just kind of, like, paraphrase each other. Okay. I was definitely, like, under the impression this game was going to take place in, like, a lot more locations than just this hallway, basically. <laughs> kind of cool how the lighter gets put away when you're looking at a picture so the gamma doesn't blow it out. That's actually really smart. That was a good move. Good job, Emma. That's why you make badass games. I locked the room because I can hear someone walking around and whispering. I can't stay here and work. I'm trapped. I'm being watched. They don't like me touching their things. Whoever finds my letter, get out of here. You are not alone here. The guy left a letter. He was very impressionable. I think it's just an old house. I'll pack my things quickly and leave. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what the hell's going on here, buddy. They do not want you here. Or maybe they do. Maybe they like to torment you a lot. You know, it's funny that one letter or that one picture um, of the person with the boxes in the doorway. We still have not figured out what the hell that's all about. There's just not a lot of places to go here. This does nothing, okay. Let's just go back and forth. Oh, yeah, Nick. Sir Nick, I... Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> My bad. Just walk back and forth in the hallway. Something will happen. I just came from there. Well, I can't go this way, can I? Oh, is that what you're saying I just came from? There's nowhere to go. Oh, 
I am there. What the? F I seen this when I first walked in and I didn't grab it. What a dummy. Gosh. I must have the thickest freaking skull. So thick there's not even enough room for a brain. that key go to? Oh. Really? Really? A baby's room with a pentagram on the floor? Oh, nice. How did that TV turn on? What the? There's two chairs in here now. Get out of here. Get out of here. <laughs> uh, I think some people might do that. Um, uh, it's just kind of their um, accent. Yeah, I guess she does, huh? Hey, what's on TV tonight? Did you get the TV guide? I can't find it. There you go. Do you want it on? I'll turn it back on. Well, I don't want it on. Now, I think you just need to go. Yeah, just like that. Let's go back to the kids' room. See what the hell is going on in there. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I would uh, pronounce your name, Nick. Okay, let's see here. Um, Hozenga. Hozenga. Is it Hozenga? The back of the notes. Oh, yeah. Good call, Nick. There's not really been anything on the back of the notes so far. I know it's good to always check them. Um... I played a game yesterday where when you flip all the notes over, they just became invisible. There was like literally no assets on the back of the notes. It was wild. There go. Bill and Matilda's wedding picture. We've seen that before. baby okay. you should not be laying in the middle of a pentagram like that you might become kind of a uh, like this one doll from the future what I need to finish packing up are you kidding me I clicked on all kinds of stuff in here what even just triggered that? I walked in this room and out of this room. I walked in this room and clicked on a bunch of stuff. The hell? Okay, I guess I can't pack this stuff. What is that? 
Can't read it. Okay, can I take the box now? No. Oh, the drawer's open. Or not. Okay, well, let me leave. See if anything's changed in the TV room again. Yep, only one TV now. And I can't even turn it on. Same picture as was before. That's the same as before. That's still locked for no reason. Um, I was playing this game the other day. Ah, oh, what was it? I think I just played it like last night, I think. Was it Amygdala? I don't remember, but... <laughs> yeah, White Skittles, exactly. Hey, Sock, how you doing? That wasn't a very long rest. I feel like you need to sleep some more. Um, Yeah, definitely I'm only going to be able to get through two of these games tonight. That sucks. Uh, and... After you were in an area for more than three minutes, it would give you a clue, which I thought was like awesome. I definitely think more games needed something like that. Was it? I wonder if it was Exanimum. It might have been Exanimum. I don't know, but I played a game. Oh, oh, it was the Devil's Basement, um, or God's Basement, God's Basement. I tried to start playing that last night and I fell asleep. I really want to play that. I tried, Nick. I tried clicking on the box. Clicking, 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 clicking. Will not let me. Um, but yeah, in God's basement, after three minutes, you get a hint of being in any one area without knowing what to do. And um, it doesn't just like pop it up on the screen, so you don't have to take the hint if you don't want to. Um, but you can hit pause and then hit hint, and then you've got a hint. And I thought that was like awesome thought that was really cool i was like damn more games need this and that was an older game that was from i think 2018 there was a lot of things in that game from 2018 that i was like why do games now not do that like it was pretty cool i can't wait to finish it it's been on my wish list for a long time and i finally picked it up and then i tried to start playing it last night and i just could not stay awake Man, there's like nothing anymore that I can click on now. I need to zoom on this. Thought maybe light the candles, but it won't let me do that. There's nothing in the crib to grab. Can't open any of these. Man, yeah, the first part of this game, like I felt like I was doing pretty good. Um. but not so much anymore. Clock's ticking now. It wasn't before.
I had to pick this picture up. I've picked the picture up already. That's the kind of shit that like drives me crazy in games. Now this door just opened. Satin. Oh, Satin. You want me to go to this bedroom? That's the only place I've seen Satin. Those sheets look really nice. The hell is that supposed to say? Are these kids' drawings? Those are the... Okay, that one's not too bad. Pictures that we've clicked on 30 times. Well, oh, come on, I already picked all this up. Are you kidding me? Damn demons making my life difficult. I just want to pack this stuff up and get out of here. I need to go get the satin sheets from the bedroom, I guess. Oh. There's that symbol again. This sure has changed a lot. that same picture I picked up 30 times where'd that come from ah oh, damn candles again Dang it, everything's on the ground again. How am I ever going to get this? You. You, you ghost. Stop making my life hard. I'm going to go get an exorcist or the Ghostbusters or something. And I'm going to banish thee. I am writing this letter. In the hope that someone will find it. I came on behalf of the social service to get things. But the evil that lives here does not allow me to do it. I feel like I've been here for a week. But the video camera is still working. I've lost track of time. And I'm walking in circles. I was locked up here. Walking in circles? Oh my gosh, I know how you feel. It's terrible. That's the worst. That's the worst haunting I can imagine. that follow the light flashlight all right what are you looking at why don't you just get out of here already why aren't you moving okay
Why can't there be more clues like that in this game? <laughs> the ghost literally has their hand on the thing you need to touch. Need a book. Oh, cool. Let's find a random book in this mess. Really, I've been trying to get in that drawer the whole time and there was nothing there. Oh, there's a book. Who says that? Are you in there? Don't you come out. It'll scare me and I won't like it. Then I'll definitely call the Ghostbusters. Oh, I just let her out. Uh-oh. Who am I gonna call? Ghostbusters. This one's 1997. Perfectly good miss jump scare. Editing this video is going to be an absolute nightmare. I've not done very good at not vaping like crazy and not just talking to chat randomly. Oh gosh. Is she controlling him now? Ghosts know how to use cameras? I don't live for it, Nick. I die for it. Why? This is... It kills me stuff. Um, yeah, this game is like really weird. It kind of acts like it's like a, it doesn't keep the cursor on the window. And even though I'm full screen, it like lets it come off a screen and then I have to like click on the game again. It's weird. Damn, that was a good one. Most of those haven't happened right in our face. Those nice explosions. Jesus. I can't go anywhere. This is splendiferous. Oh, there's tape. What the? Who said that? Who's there? Don't scare me like that. Just want to watch my movies in peace. Need some relaxation. Oh, Nick, I remember what I was going to tell you earlier. Um, it was, was it, was it Sir Nick or was it Nick H that asked why I'm always moving around in my chair so much? I feel like it was Sir Nick. Either way, I thought I'd figured it out. I had my lumbar support, like, adjusted, like, all the way in and all the way down low. So I thought it was, like, kind of pushing me out and away from my chair. And... That was the case a little bit. Like, it's still 
it's better now, but not not completely fixed. Yeah, it was you. Okay, I thought so. Maybe if I could, like, lean my chair back a little bit. I know I've tried that before. But, yeah, the uh, lumbar support made some difference. I didn't realize that I kind of had it there pushing all into me. Okay. She ruled Mary. Mom. 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 Still haven't got to go in this room yet. Bastard, sorry. Death cult symbol. Do we have a camera now? No. I don't think we we don't have the like. What? What? Who wrote you again? Key to the door. Could do this door, could it? Um. Yeah. Anytime we're like play, playing a VHS, we don't actually have like the regular Polaroid camera. Trying. Demon bitch. Oh. Uh, sir? Oh! So that's where this door goes. Sock, I'm hoping not, but you might have been right about the donation. That music's making it sound like we're like almost at the end. Okay, there's a picture from one room with another door right across the hall. It looks like the the door like in the front you are a murderer oh shit oh that's a little one with the little This door's like wide open for the first time. Hey, that's all the pictures. Are the are those all the ones that we failed to like take a picture of maybe? September 26, 19. Is this the final cutscene? How long does this take, by the way? Three hours. Damn. Still not over. You're in a psychiatric clinic. What? I was told that there was nothing in that house. OMG, they lied to you. You know what's in there. You've seen it with your own eyes. Through your own nightmares.
I do gotta hand it to like game developers. The way they hide stuff. Oh, there, there we go. What is this? Help me finish what you started. I know you figured out how to end it. It feeds fears and emotions. My loved ones are in danger. So a new family moved in, huh? Oh, are they letting me out of the clinic? Let's go. Better not be a demon out there. Open up. You tricked me. Oh, wait. It's, uh, this is... Medical, okay, psychiatric history. Written from the patient's words. Uh, I don't know what this amen, amen, animus vitae. Wish Mamek was here. I still have hope. Oh, hold on. What, what? This might be dangerous for the main character of this game. Bunny from Devil Survivor 2. Could just pull out their phone, summoning the most smid demon. <laughs> demon. Bye bye. So I hope we get a little more, but uh, there's just a little itch. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. I feel like if I would have posted it like a day sooner, maybe, because so many people has came to the Discord to say stuff. I figured, yeah, I definitely figured a lot more people would. Yeah, say something. Uh, let's see here. I was not guilty with what happened. Mary became dependent on antidepressants and an evil knew that she had become vulnerable and seized her. She was compelled to kill our child and afterwards she did away with herself. I was deter determined to stay in the home and get rid of the evil. I sealed up the doors and windows with nails and boards so that it would not find itself new victims. The police stopped me from completing it, and you did not believe me or my investigation. I knew this was an influential cult that now exists and their people are in our midst. They continue to kidnap children and other people. They did not give Mary any chances and sent me away to prison. When my wife couldn't pay for the apartment, social help offered an old house that nobody had lived in for a long time. Everything that happens to me and which I saw in that house has appeared to me in my nightmares. Every day is a hell that does not stop. It did leave me. It's here with me, locked up. What now? You don't got me, demon. <laughs> I'll never give in to you. We had, oh, oh, oh gosh. Oh, three hours is crazy. Damn it. That was really long. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, I'm gonna do my sign out for YouTube. Give my thoughts on the game. Alright, so that was Locked Up, Imica Games' very first game. And uh, typically, I'm not a fan of the type of go around and find something and some random thing you have no idea what you're looking for and then it triggers something you don't know what you just triggered uh for the first half of this game though i was enjoying it quite a bit the second half of the game i don't know if it just got a lot more difficult or if i was just kind of checking out or what but it was taking a lot longer and uh, i was kind of over it <laughs> at least like during the last hour of me playing this took me about three hours so uh cool game is really impressive for their first game 
and that's why they are one of the best developers in indie horror games. Um, yeah, just wish it wasn't quite so long. And tomorrow we will have the next Imoka game that came out. Um, I think like six months later, or a year later, sometime in the next year. And uh, I haven't played that one yet either. It's the only other one that I haven't played. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right. Antidepressants are meant to make people less depressed. Sometimes, yes, it does definitely make people more. Yeah, one of the so <laughs> in the United States we have like TV commercials and stuff for drugs, and antidepressants is one that's on there a lot. And it's so funny whenever one of the side effects for antidepressants is depression. <laughs> it's like what? Oh, that's past medical history. Thank you, sock. Thank you, Sock. Um, let's see. I guess while I'm here, we got a few people watching. I will um, point out again, no pressure. If anybody feels like it, uh, there's a link to a GoFundMe in the description uh, for Shabby Doo, one of my dear friends, the streamer. Uh, mostly stream survival games and like cozy games and stuff like that. Um, and he just passed recently and his wife would like like if you were going to send flowers uh, she would like like a donation to the Humane Society instead so we're trying to put together like a, a fairly sizable donation to the Humane Society um, that they can like I don't know maybe like announce at his funeral or something like that um, but if anybody feels like it if you're up to it he's the reason why I'm streaming so even if you don't know him there's some good that's come out of them. There's a lot of good that's come out of them, but, but you are a beneficiary to some of that. And I'll leave it at that because I don't want to be pushy. Just throwing it out there. Um, oh, wait. Is there more? Do I need to hit the record button again? What's this? Wait, what? Um, hold up. Is there like multiple endings to this game or something? No, this is like so different. Okay, this is not over. I guess it's not over till the fat lady sings, huh? And I have not heard her singing just yet. Let's keep looking around. <laughs> Damn it. I want to move to the next one. Okay. Yeah, baby doll. Are we supposed to take these drugs and overdose? Sedative. Turn them upside down. Shake them out. Crush them into the floor. Hmm. You know what? It would have been really, really nice of the developer if they were going to do like an encore part of the game like this, which is sick. It's pretty awesome. Not to make it the same thing that, like, the whole rest of the game was. I mean, maybe. I'm sure some people probably think that's awesome because they, you know, loved this gameplay. And I did at first. But right now, it's just, it's become to the point where it's frustrating. So, a cool encore thing would have been, uh, not having to do the same shit. Dude, what? do I do now? Oh my gosh. Hold on. There's a nail there. Okay.
We must find the picture that goes on that nail, I'm guessing. Oh, there's nails here too, so maybe that's not what we do. Uh. Wait, is this just like an interactive menu? I don't even know if this is part of the game, actually. If the game's over, just let me be... Oh, where'd all this come from? Five people died. Two were injured in a collision between a motorcycle and a pickup truck. November 11th, 1986. You can't actually cry, baby doll. You're just a baby doll. I tell you what, um, oh, here, baby, take the ball. Here, baby, take the block. Here, baby, take the other block. Man, where's Big Eye Bob when you need him? He would have been great to have around for this stream. I bet this hangs up here. Aha. Damn it. Nope. Okay. It probably goes on this wall with the other pictures about the same size, actually. Right there. Bam! Crystal ball? Oh, it's wine. There was a mass murder of people. Suspect was arrested. Perhaps this is the work of some cult. We are looking for the leaders, headquarters, along with other participants. I'll tell you where they're at. If you get me the hell out of here. Like what even is going on? Game is supposed to be over. I just see this door handle move. Oh, wait, hey. Scuba Steve, damn you. This game would end much differently if it was the rider. I cannot resist the comedy of picking up blocks. <laughs> more being added to the room, the more you pick up. <laughs> Got a room full of blocks. <laughs> Something like that would be pretty funny. I could see that more in like a like a mascot horror game. I feel like it would like fit pretty well. And it would be like it could work out pretty good, I think. I can't take this with me now. Um. 
What's that? It's a picture I've picked up a million times. Okay, I've like definitely checked everything at this point. Why can I not take that? Looking it up again. What in the actual hell? Hopefully. They put the in part. Uh, wonder. It's starting to look like this part is not in this video. No. Oh, even the part of the psychiatrics not in this video. Okay, this part of the game might have been added later. All right, let's try to find a more recent one. Damn, they're all so old. Locked up full game 12 days ago. Hell yeah. Damn, 900, 936 views. From a channel with 600 subs. Shit, that's good. People want to play that game, don't they? I don't want to see it be played. It might be because there's the Imica game sale going on right now. Maybe I'm a little late to the party, especially since I've had these, uh, all of these games for a long time. I should have done videos on them way before. This isn't even the full game. What? Oh, that's BS. This person got rewarded. Without even having the... The full damn game. He put full game, but it's not the full game. It's, it doesn't even take you to the psychiatric place. Huh, that sucks. Well... I mean, it's I, I know it's cool for him, but... What about this one? Okay, this one at least gets to the psychiatric place. Please tell me this actually has the last part. Nope. Son of a bitch. Wow. We must be in like a... A special ending or something. I don't know. Maybe the game just kind of, Maybe... I don't know. Did it just, like, glitch out on me or something? Am I not supposed to be here? Because literally nobody else's videos, I just looked like, looked like four or five of them. And... They don't go this far. I wonder if most people turn the game off and don't even realize it keeps going. Think that's what happened? I wonder if this is just like a little secret part added at the end to like, it's just only there to make you aggravated. <laughs> Oh, this is a totally different game. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I'm I I'm the only one live playing this and you have to scroll way the hell down to find it. Um anybody who just got here, I just let me explain what's going on. Uh, I played this game all the way through to the end and and then it like 
looked like it was about to go to the title screen, and then it took me back to this room. Like, it did, like, its whole ending thing and explained what was going on. Um, and then it took me back into this room that we were already in. Like, the game was, like, over. Even the part in the psychiatric center. So I just looked up other people play it. And we got, like, an ending that other people hadn't got. I don't know if this just got updated and added to it, maybe. Um, oh, look, something happened. Okay, well, I guess I just had to have some patience. Yeah, yeah. Just a little patience. Oh, an axe. Oh, shit. What's that doing here? It's like literally click on every little thing. I really want to move on to the next game. Oh, okay. Now this door opened. Yeah, this is definitely different. This we have not played anything like this, so it didn't just like glitch me back into it. I mean, we played something like like this, but not the same. That's crazy. Baby. All right, I feel like I seen that. Maybe in the trailer for the game or something. I saw that somewhere, I think. I don't think that's the first time I saw the two, like, ghouls holding the hands watching TV. Wasn't this just open? Okay, yeah, yeah, but we, we're definitely, like, at some sort of, like, secret ending here. Nobody else has played this, this part. <laughs> Who the hell's laughing? What door just opened? Come on, something just unlocked. There we go. Oh! Oh, come on. That's not nice. Yeah, the axe definitely was not there before when we played it, was it? Oh, that's just good stuff. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, the blocks are back. Where do I put them now? Oh. Jeez. Do I not put them here? Okay. Oh, 
True. Definitely stuck forever. What if it just like keeps us like in here? Oh nope. Oh yeah, I gotta put out the candles. Out the candles. Blow out the candles. I can't blow out the candles. <laughs> It's not funny, you demon. Look what happened to the baby. That's not funny. Let me out of here. Okay, what do we have here? I locked a room because I can hear someone walking around and whispering. Can't stay here and work. I'm trapped. I'm being watched. They don't like me. Touching their things. Whoever finds my letter, get out of here. You're not alone. Wait, this happened already. Okay. Are there multiple endings then? I feel like I did see the... Okay, maybe people have gotten to this. Okay, if I shut it and then open it. Nope. Shut both of them. Shut that off because it's annoying. And open this one. No. Okay. Where did that tape? That kind of stuff drives me crazy in this game. Tape was not there. Look, it says. Ah, oh, shit. Sit down in front of the TV. Saturday morning. I thought the game was over. Okay. So I was wrong. The game didn't take me three hours to complete. It took me, I don't know, I'm not done yet. And I was wrong that nobody else has got to this so far because I definitely seen other people at, at this point before when I was skimming through those. But it looked like they got here. Here through different means, I think. And hey, what do you want, bud? Is that the real ending? Oh my gosh. I passed the whole story. Okay, cool. Damn. That was crazy. All right. We finally found the real ending. Okay. So I feel like, I don't know. I'm a little confused here at the end. Um, cause I skimmed through like four or five videos of other people playing and it didn't look like they had the last like ending section that I had. Like it looked like they just all got to the end and it was the end, which some of them, it was this end, but I never seen any of them like go to the psychiatric place first and then go through the end credits and then this. Strange. All right, well, we're done. We can move on to the next one now, finally. I've already said my thoughts on this game. Everything I said times two now that we had to do this again. <laughs> All right, let me end this recording. And end this game. And then we'll jump to the next Dimica game. 
which is going to be Find Yourself. This is another one I have not played. Uh, let's see, how long does this game look like? Um, find Yourself. Oh, this one's way faster. Okay. So this one's going to be like way less than an hour. Nice. Thank freaking God. Well, way less than an hour for some people. Maybe for me. All right. Good games. Find yourself from February 21st, 2021. Okay. Uh, okay. Just had an official letter of the government in the mailbox. My initial reaction is always fudge. What did they catch me do? <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. I felt like the game was never going to end. Drafted to work in the upcoming election in June. That's it. Oh yeah. I would totally hate to get something official. Yeah, definitely for sure. <laughs> Definitely would not like it. You know what, Nick? I am very surprised that you have not got a gifted sub. Because you're here so often on your work account, you would think you'd be like the first person to get a gifted sub um, when subs get gifted. And both Nicks, both of you guys have not gotten gifted subs. That's actually really weird. Do you guys have sub gifting receiving on or whatever? Have you ever been gifted in a sub a sub on these accounts before? Because it's something you have to turn on. I think you have to have like public um uh, public subscriptions or something like that turned on. Man, my chair is still not keying out all the way for some reason. All right, let's check out the settings in this one real quick. Uh, okay. Graphic. Ultra. 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 Ah, it doesn't have any higher textures. Okay. So this is cool. This looks like the same subway train as that fractured mind game that I played the other day. Um, which looked really, really good in that game. Nope, you don't have that turned on. Or you've never gotten a gifted sub. If, you, if you've never gotten a gifted sub, next time somebody gifts subs, go click on it. Um, on like the thing. I, I think that's how you do it. Um, I think you have to like click well, that's like the quick way to get to it. I think you click on their, their gifted sub thing in the chat, and then it'll take you to an option that you can turn on to be able to receive gifted subs. Dude, my cha I feel like my chair needs to, like, just slide back another inch in the back. I don't know. This chair is, like, not as comfortable as my old chair, I guess. Okay. All right, do my intro, and we'll get started. Maybe I'll get through three of these with if this one's short. Um, for like, well, for what I do, it's like about an hour to two hours uh, much over two hours I start to get a little like bored of any game pretty much and and as far as like a narrative based like psychological horror game like with the story and stuff I don't want to have to do it in two sittings or, or more than one at all so 
basically I like them to be less than two hours. It's usually kind of like what I like. Um, sometimes they can be longer. Like I think my first playthrough of Hollow Cocoon was like four hours. And I loved that game. Um, but I, it's not really a four hour game. Like I can play through it now in like 45 minutes. So, um, but yeah, some somewhere between a half hour and two hours, like in that time range is probably ideal for me. And maybe like the one hour mark being like the perfect one, but a little longer, a little less longer is fine too. Don't see anything to turn on to get a sub. Has anybody gifted subs tonight? It's called, um, I think it's called like public subscriptions or something. Let me, let me look it up. Um, or you have to have like an, a, a public account or something like that. Um, There's also a setting in YouTube in the in your settings too. You have to opt in to be eligible for gift memberships on any channel. Okay, here to become a channel member. Here we go. It says how to do it. Um, opt in. Okay. So it says you can do it in a live chat, and that that's when when somebody gives a sub, you can do it from there. Like, click on the box that shows that they gifted subs and then I think you can get to the option there the other way to do it is on a channel's watch page on the channel page or using a creator's unique opt-in URL a link to the channel page with allow gifts at the end no you can do it for your whole channel this is just to allow gifts for a channel how do you allow gifts for your your whole um account um, select the end membership gift go to an eligible channels live stream or premiere within the live chat select allow gifts or select the pinned membership gifting um confirm you like to opt in by turning on allow gifts okay so if there's like an option in chat for yeah go click on the money thing and then go to memberships it's not letting me do it I don't think on my own thing hmm. but yeah if you go down to like next to the um, the the box you type in and there's the little thing you click on for like super chats and super chats and stuff oh click on membership gifting and then And then there should be an option there to allow gifting. If you don't see that, then you don't have a public channel, I think. Um, let's see. Why? Why do they not make this easier? gift switch okay or or click join on on a ch on a video and then go to gift settings and click opt-in to allow gifts oh your channel name is okay if you're selected for a gift oh your channel name is visible to the public this info is also available to the channel through your YouTube data API okay yeah I think you also have to make sure you have a public channel but it doesn't show how to do that it's within your YouTube channel settings though I like your um, yeah let's see go to your device apps YouTube storage clear date no that's not it I'm sure YouTube is that's not it this is the very worst um, advice ever it's not specific at all All right, uh, I'll figure it out after the stream sometime and tell you exactly how to do it.
Yeah, mobile is weird. Mobile's dumb. Um, can you not though? I think I can send out gifted stuff on mobile. I'm pretty sure. Let me look. I know I can't at people, which is super annoying. So like if I'm in a chat, I don't know if you guys, I'm sure because I've had multiple phones and it's always the same. Um, in chat on mobile, if I hit at, I don't get options to at somebody. So it's, it's just super annoying. Um, okay, let me go to my video here. Okay, and then, yeah, so, membership gifting, yeah, it'll let me do it on mobile, for sure, yeah, I've definitely done it before, so just right next to the chat box, click on the little money thing, uh, here, look, let me see if I can show you, so, hold on, let me, I'm gonna zoom in here. I'll make it easier. Nope, that definitely didn't help. Zooming back out. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. Right there. Click on that. And then you've got all these options. At least that's how it works for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, Mel, Mel does it all the time. See, I just right next to the chat. Um, I don't know if there's a setting. Oh, if you're on. I don't know if you can do it on iOS, though. I don't know. I don't have an iPhone or an iPad, but I know that Apple doesn't like you to be able to, like, handle money stuff that with it's not like it's specifically in. Only says super chat. Huh. That is weird. Huh. Maybe you guys don't have. No, Juice, you definitely have memberships turned on because you got a gifted membership. Hmm. Are you guys on. Are you guys on iOS or are you on Android? Yeah, I think it might be IO. Okay. Yeah, I think that's it. I think you can't do it on iOS. Um, because Apple is like really anal about memberships or making payments or something that, and not through that. Like they don't like it when they don't get a cut. So um, I think that they don't like money to be transacted on their devices without them getting a cut. So I think that's probably why. Okay, you have to have YouTube Premium to get it. Aha, aha, I see. And I don't know, maybe Android makes you have YouTube Premium also, but I wouldn't know because I've always had YouTube Premium. Yeah, Apple Gate keeps money like a some bitch. So that that might be why if you're on iOS. At least you can receive them though. That's cool. Oh, really? Do they? Man, imagine having app like, damn, they are dedicated as hell to getting their cut, aren't they? Because imagine like how many contracts and stuff they have to have with all of these companies to be able to take a cut here and take a cut there and track it to make sure they're not like ripping them off and stuff. Man, they're super dedicated to that cut. you have premium juice so it might just not let you do that on ios then um but you should be able to do it through the web browser i think you just might not be able to do it with the app because the app is an app from the app store um but i think you could do it through the web browser so i think if you opened up safari or chrome whatever you use 
and then went to YouTube there. I think then you can, it's, it sucks to use YouTube that way on a phone, but if you really wanted to, I think you could do it that way. Pretty sure. Yes, you have to be public to get gifted. Yeah, that's that's still the case. Um, and I was trying to look up where that setting was and I couldn't find it. I I can't I don't have that setting on my account because I have a creator account, so it's a little bit different. Like creator accounts also cannot get gifted subs. Which kind of sucks, you know? Um But whatever. <laughs> You can you can still sub, but you can't get gifted subs. All right. Uh, let me make sure this is not visible. Okay, stream only. Good. Actually, I have another YouTube account. I might be able to find it there. Maybe. Let's see. So if I go to settings, um, memberships, no membership, YouTube. Okay. No, that's not it. Ah, uh, cause this is not actually, oh, maybe let's see. This isn't a channel. This is just an account. Permissions, your preferences, general product, YouTube premium update, you creator updates. Nope. Nope. Keep all of my subscriptions private. There it is. Okay, so if you just go to your settings, so just click on your like little picture up in the upper right if you're on a, a browser um, and go to settings and then go down to privacy. You have to uncheck, keep all of my subscriptions private. That's the first step to be able to receive memberships. Um. And then, and then from there, I think you might also have to opt in whenever somebody turns on membership uh, or somebody gifts memberships. See, so once someone had already gifted subs in the chat, yeah, yeah, and Tronic. So that's um, that's one way to do it. And I guess it depends on the device you're on. But once somebody gifts subs you here let me see if i can like gift a sub um okay cool who did i gift a sub to who got that okay so everybody that doesn't have gifted subs on click on that there's like a, um, a little options, like three dots. Man, no, that's not how you do it. Maybe you just like click on it. Robert P, welcome to the Chad, Robert P. But yeah, I think if you click on that, um, there's an option for you. I, I believe you also need to be active. Need that to be, oh, hold on. What needs to be active, Sock? Oh, in giveaways? Okay, okay. Probably, yeah, you're probably right. So, you should see an option that says allow in the chat window, and it'll bring a pop-up with a toggle. Yes. Yeah, there's allow gifts under... Yep. Yeah, so if you turn that on, Got World. Yep, there you guys go. And now I think you should be able to receive gifts from any channel, maybe? Maybe. I might be wrong. Um, but definitely from this channel. Yeah. So, and if you weren't able to do that, then you have to do what I said and go to your settings and um, make it public. All right, cool. Yeah, I was just uh, seeing that you guys did not have 
didn't, weren't members yet. And I'm like, that's a shame. You guys are here all the time. I figured you got been the first ones to get gifted subs. But uh, now we know why. So next time, you guys will probably get the first ones. But it's not coming from me again tonight because I am broke. <laughs> okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, that, that's what I think. I think it's any channel. Once you activate, you will accept, accept gifted subs. You'll be able to get them anywhere. So if you watch other lives, then you might get gifted there too. All right. Are we ready? Okay, let's see here. Let me do my YouTube intro. Oh shit, I've been recording for 20 minutes. <laughs> Let me end this recording and start a new one. I'll just delete this one. All right. Okay, we are continuing our Emika Games Marathon with Emika's second game, kind of. There was a demo that came out before their first game locked up and this find yourself which is called from day to day which was really awesome i have played that before uh and i might do that demo in this marathon but i'm not doing it right now just doing full games this is find yourself it's supposed to be a shorter one um another one i don't know anything about but i'm sure it's good because from imica and i'm expecting it i'm expecting myself to enjoy it a lot more than the last one let's jump in All righty, guys, let's begin. Find yourself after I get comfortable. <laughs> let's see. How do I want to cross? I haven't crossed my legs this way all night. That's probably better on my knees, kind of changing it up a little bit. Okay, here we go. I don't really like the intro music here. Ooh, this is cool. Yo, turn the beat up a little bit. Having a snare in my headphones. Oh, this is cool. I like the lighting. Oh shit, we're gonna have to run. We're gonna have to crouch. Okay, this is gonna be. This might be kind of intense. Hello, little fella. Who's there? Meow, meow, oh, we own this, we own this city. <laughs> I am ate up. Oh, okay. Nuclear winter games. Cool. I wonder what they make. Ha ha ha. Funny. Money. We all are slaves, loser. This graffiti's cool. I like that it's all English, too, and not Russian. I can understand it. Don't blame anyone. Try more. Try Moroi. Damn. I really like this. I would totally live by this and, like, make this my slogan if it was spelled right. <laughs> Try Moroi. Left mouse interact. Ooh, parking ticket. Ooh. 5 p.m. 5.30 p.m. Meeting with psychiatrist. So far, I'm feeling like this game. As well as the other game before, but... You can do it. So far, what I've seen of this game. I feel like this is like Imica Games trying to find themselves to figure out who they're going to be, what kind of games they're going to make. Because really kind of after Summer of 58, I feel like they kind of had it figured out and they've kind of stuck to that since then. But this seems a little different. Like the first one was quite a bit different. This one seems even more different than that. Although I don't really know how this seems because I haven't really... 
Middle mouse to focus. Oh shit! Where did that come from? Cool. Wasn't exactly expecting that. Okay, so we're going to be on the subway now. I'm excited to see kind of how that subway looks in this game. With all the graphics turned to ultra. I also hope that I stop getting dropped frames, because that's kind of crazy. Getting dropped frames from a game from 2020 to 21. Monsters Among Us. Stop ahead. Why is there a stroller left on here? At least they took the baby with him. No one can calm a crying baby. Nope. Not even at a wedding or a funeral. Maybe it's not her child? I kind of like how this subway looks better in this game than in that other game. It looked more photorealistic in the other game, but it was kind of harsh on my eyes. What? Okay. Well. Yeah, still dropping frames. Oh. Uh huh? It's gone. Where did that come from? Okay, I feel like this game is going to be a lot like that last game, actually. It's going to be like another, like, PT. Like. At least it seems like that so far. Run around and try to get something to happen. Oh, whoo. Damn those frame drops. Sounds like something's like cutting through the roof of the place. Whoa, okay. I don't feel safe even in my room. I tell you what though, uh, Imica games are really good at using a bunch of common assets in their games and they still just feel fresh and awesome. The red sun lights up the oath of the white knight because they're really good at like storytelling and 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 not just just make an uninspired asset flip like they actually make a game and just use assets to do it which i think is totally fine if you're going to use them which i totally understand like basically every indie developer using them 90 percent of them because who's going to code all their own stuff you know like that's that's insane thing to do and then and to be able to like make a decent game in a decent amount of time. Um, but, but yeah, it's super cool if you build a good game around it. And also try not to use like ones that are like super common. 
Like, I wish this wasn't this room, but whatever. I'm sure when this game came out, it was probably like brand new. A lot of people haven't used, hadn't used it. My mother punished me and locked me in a room. After you left, Dad, she started treating me badly. That's so sad. Man, I hate... Oh, shit. I hate kids being harmed so much. They just don't deserve it. What's that hiding under the bed? What the... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Is that cloven hooves? Hello down there. Mr. Monster? Um, I wish you would come out from under my bed. I need to sleep here tonight, and I can't do it with all that noise you're making. And terror and fear that's oozing up through my mattress. <laughs> oh, I used to love funny clowns, but now they seem evil to me. I think they also reuse like asset packs and sound effects and stuff too. So I'm pretty sure that's the same sound as from uh, the little troll thing in uh, September 7th. Is that September 7th? I think that's what it's called. The red sun lights up the oath of the white knight. Peter. I can now fly when I sleep. Dude, having that monster sit there and make that noise the whole time, it's unsettling. Hey, what's up, Malkilla? How you doing tonight? What the hell? Hold on, my freaking keyboard's dying. Should be, uh, yeah, I definitely know this house. I have seen this house a lot. But it's a really old house. What's weird is I just started kind of seeing it a lot. I think in this last year, maybe. Who's coming? Well, I can't hide under my bed, not with that thing. There's nowhere for me to go. Why is that gotta be making those sounds? Okay, what am I missing here now? Yeah, we are, um... Still at it, hell yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, earlier I was, what was that I was playing earlier? Locked up, I think, or is this locked up? That was locked up. This is lose yourself, I think, or find yourself, something like that. That, yeah, that last game was super duper long. Um, and become a real drag, like, in the last half of the game. But the first part of it, I was loving. Okay. Tell me how I've not tried clicking on everything in this room. Multiple times, even. Oh, that's that's good. Hey, you look. Accurate reflections in the window. That's... Oh. Wait, I just... Th did I throw those clowns away? Do I have to find another one to throw away, maybe? Well, there's not another one. This toy? I'm not a baby anymore. I am starting to feel dumb. 
Should I check the door again? I don't have like an inventory, do I? switch nope but like seriously I've tried to click on everything that thing sounds like he's getting agitated at this point I uh I think he's mad at me but I have not figured out what the hell to do yet. Right, nope, not right there. Oh, what in the? <laughs> There's only so many things in this room. Well, <laughs> yeah, it looks like I'm about to do what Mount Killit did with me. Uh, look up what to do because I'm lost. I hear a radio, maybe. Is there a radio that needs turned off? Is it this thing? It sounds like it's like louder back here. Hold on, what did that note say? Did that, was that note like a clue? The red sun, something or another. I don't see a red sun anywhere. That was an astronaut. Calvin, Sam. Shut up down there. I do like that sound effect, though, that they're using for that monster thing under the bed. It sounds pretty horrifying, especially for a monster under the bed. It's, like, perfect for that. It sounds so horrifying. Can I jump out the window? <laughs> Yeah, what I was saying earlier, when I was in that psychiatric room, definitely rings true here. How in the hell do they hide stuff so well in like a little room like this size? It's nuts. Hey, is this a clue? Blackness, the bed, he can fly in his dreams. Is there like a cape or something? Supposed to go to bed? Okay, I'm looking it up. Yep, that's it. I have to. It's the one place we don't want to look. Did you ever see the video with the tiger? It sounds like a demon. It's literally the other room in, in the video. Oh shit. No. <laughs> that would be crazy. Well, where the hell's the one place I don't want to look, Nick? 
under the bed. Like, I've clicked on that bed so many times. I've looked under the bed. The door, the everywhere. No, uh -huh. I just got him to quit hiding. I looked, did you not see me looking at that thing already? Trying to click on him and stuff? I think it's because I didn't zoom in on him, maybe. Oh, fuck. Yikes. Um, okay. Why, why are you guys back out? Ooh! I might need this. You're definitely going to come in handy. So yeah, I need to remember that the zoom function in this game is more than just like um, convenient for you to be able to look at something closer. You actually need to zoom in on some stuff to trigger it. Which is kind of weird. Sounds crazy. I don't know why. What's that? <gasps> Whoa! Oh, we get to see this thing in the daytime now, or with the lights on. So zooming. That was okay. So this is an endless loop, I think, because when I was looking in there, I was seeing the back of the ghost, and I turned around, and it was facing me. Or vice versa, but yeah, or monster, zombie thing, whatever it was. Hmm. Oh. Hey, son. Are you are. Uh... Oh. You can go to a different cart now. <laughs> Bad idea. Yo, where'd you come from? There's some big old boobs on that mannequin. Did I tickle you or something, little bear? I need to get to that. Yeah, like understanding the rules in some of these games is so hard. You need to find something to open it with. Okay. Like um and that that fracture in mind game. I ended up beating that game without ever knowing what the hell the rules were. I did not know how I got to the end. I just tried to keep going. Now I need to find a damn key. Okay. Do you have a key? Who has the key? You guys are in my way. Cannot go around. Oh, you have no head. Oh, you have a key. Thank you kindly. What the fuck was that? Oh, they had the VHS filter. Can this thing kill me? Oh, yeah. It can. Damn it. Uh. <laughs> I 
I should have known. I should have known. <sighs> man, did I not look under that bed already, though? Like, man. Oh, that's cool. Um, definitely cool that the save point's, like, literally right here. Why am I walking back toward it, though? That's dumb. Oh, shit. Need to clear a path. Move it. Move it. What do I... How do I do that? I feel like I'm violating them. I have to keep pressing on the breasts. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Who said that? Who are you, exactly? Okay, now where are we at? I see monsters in my room. My mother didn't believe me and lock me in the basement. Oh shit, that's where we're at now, huh? Oh well, look, this is the basement for that. The, yeah, it belongs to that same room upstairs. They're part of the same house. Like it's crazy. I feel like I am so thorough when playing these games. <laughs> but so thorough, I was just not ever thorough enough. Oh, wait. Fucking stairs. Did you say that? Uh, alrighty. Def Whoa. Oh, wow. You found the portal. Oh, shit. Wait, wait, wait. How's that work? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh, oh. Okay, so if I go this way... No. If I go through here... No. If I go through here and then this way? Ah! Okay. So that changed some things. Is this still the same? Nope. Yes. Oh, shit. Uh, looks like I didn't find the portal enough because how do I get over there? Man, one thing that um, is super cool that horror developers do that I have like so much respect for, I have so much respect for so much stuff that they do, but it's um, soundtracks. Like, damn it, I try to do like, shoot, uh, maybe I do go this way. Yeah, like some games that have like either no like sound music or or shitty music I have some of my own soundtracks kind of that I made to input or even like videos like when I edit videos and I need to add sound to it like a lot of people are so good at like having the right type of music play at the right time and that is just not a skill I have yet I should probably start working on that at some point What's in it? I probably do not want to know what's in that. It is double locked. It is all fancy and stuff. There's a cross. What the hell? Hey there, buddy. Same note. Same note. Okay, go through the portal, I guess, somehow. Did not work. My friend Bigfoot. Hey, Bigfoot's what got me into horror. 
I know a lot of you guys remember that. Then I turned off the lights in the house. <laughs> oh, that's mom. You're not awake. Wait, what? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> that's funny. Where'd that come from? They don't turn... Oh, man. Oh, no. Do I need to do all this all over again now? I guess it's not that much. Go. Let's see what's in there. Okay. There's a note. For as long as I can remember, my mother has always been acting strangely. Well, if that lady is your mom, your mother is strange. She's inhuman. That's why I hate clowns. Okay, so I just sat down here and painted. Did I really have to like... I'm sorry, Mom. Jeez. Yikes. Um, Did I really like have to sit down here with some chest right next to my mattress on the floor? with God knows what type of body or demonic shit in there. What a great mother. Mother of the year. A woman in a blue dress whispered to him, be strong, my white knight, for there is a struggle ahead of you for the green meadows. No, not here again. You. I don't think you're my friend, but I'll take you. What? Act three, big fun. What? Whoa, that was funny. <laughs> Uh, sounds like I'm at a carnival. This game just turned into Father's Day. Whoa! Do I want to turn around? Okay. Yeah, this is definitely another PT-like game. And I can understand, you know, it being like five years old, four years old, or whatever, at this point. Like, maybe three years old. Like, the further kind of you go back in time, the more a lot of games will want it to be like PT. I think they didn't understand what made PT good. Oh, jeez. Need to look around. Found a note. I used to go to this park with my dad, but after the incident, I never went back there. Poor kid. Locked. Need to find something to open it with. Uh-oh. 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 
Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I played Father's Day. I know what to do. I think. Nope, nope, nope. You come this way, clown. Come on, you. Come on. Come on, hatchet man. You down with the clown? Can I take that? Oh, give me that, please. Can I use that against him? <laughs> Who left the bolt cutter on the swing? Need to run the attraction to get them out of there. Okay, so... Oh, no, I ran right into him. He ran around. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it is funny. This game seems like almost like a... Kind of like a tech demo for his upcoming games. Like, uh, he was just kind of like throwing some stuff together, getting it to work, and then like made a game out of it. Also, like the, I'm just not a huge fan of that whole thing that PT brought out in games where you got like this cycling stuff and you have to find some super obscure thing to get it to cycle. Like I, that's I don't I just I, I don't think that's what was good about PT. I think like the scary ass atmosphere was good about PT. PT was terrifying, not because of the hallway thing, you know, and just because like a game doesn't have a hallway, doesn't mean that it's not like trying to do the same thing in a different way. A lot of games do it. Uh, and there was just like PT's good for other reasons. It's good. For one, it has a really good story. Actually, it's super short, but the story to it's great. Um, two, it's got like one of the best atmospheres in any game ever. And, and that's kind of it. That's kind of is what makes it good. I don't think it's the looping thing. The looping thing was kind of like cool then because it was new and novel. But it is so not new and novel anymore. Okay. How the hell do I turn that ride on? <laughs> yeah, she's definitely having a bad hair day, Sock. Um, yeah, definitely. I think PT was horrifying. And I think that the whole looping part of it was scary for its time. But I definitely don't think that's what made PT scary. Can I hop on board? Let me in. Uh, I feel like they wouldn't let you come up here if there wasn't something you could do, but it seems like there's nothing I can do. Maybe something's on one of these as they come by. I have to figure out which one and grab it. Maybe I'm thinking too much about it. I just need to go find the trigger to turn on that one right. Shit. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna die again. Uh, um, but yeah, do you think I'm right about PT Mail? That it was like the story and the atmosphere that made it scary? And not, not the whole looping thing, but the looping thing was kind of cool at the time, but that's not what made it scary. And that doesn't make new game scary either. Okay. I need to find a fuse.
Maybe there's a fuse in this one, because this one's got power. What's this? The boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. It was discovered in it was discovered in an abandoned hut outside the city near the park. According to the boy, he was kidnapped by a man dressed as a clown when he was on holiday with his father. Is that me? I lived in a cage for six days. I had two other children with me, but I was the only one who survived. At home, I began to have nightmares, and then I learned to control sleep. Ah. He taught himself lucid dreaming. I brought friends for him and brought a lot of toys and food. I want to be a real father to him. Oh, this is the clown writing this. Uh, he shouldn't have felt bad. And he was happy. I did everything for this. Why do they keep going like this and it? Oh, because of the translation, they need better localizers. The other kids were misbehaving and I had to calm them down don't understand why they call me a maniac. Kids love the clowns. <laughs> That's funny. Alright, now where is the damn fuse box? I imagine this clown being like a Italian. And the kids love the clowns. It's a me, the clown. The kids are loving me. We all have a really good time. Just a me and the kids. Honky nose. My squirting flower. <laughs> I don't know, I kind of messed it up there toward the end. Okay, what do I do with that damn knife? Oh, maybe, do I pop the trunk with that? I just popped your daughter's trunk. Lock. Nope. Okay. I need a key and... Okay. Totally agree with you and the atmosphere was just crazy. The atmosphere was amazing. Like, even to this day, like, almost nothing can match it. It was so good. This thing has to have a fuse box around here somewhere. Keep on walking, clown. Just keep on walking. Yeah, this is so much like Father's Day, this part. You'd think I'd be a little better at it since I've played that. Okay, he's over there. We need a key, we need a fuse. Like one of those has to be around here somewhere. Here we go. Ah, that's why we needed the knife. Now we got a fuse, okay. Oh, we need the bolt cutters in the fuse and then we just got the fuse to be able to get the, okay, I got it. Please don't kill me, clown, I finally figured it out. You guys remember Bozo the Clown? I totally forgot there used to be a freaking clown on TV back in the 90s. And he was like so popular. Alright. Okay, which one's got the bolt cutters? Right there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gimme. Got him. All right. Where is that kooky clown? All right, finally we get to know what's in here.
What the fuck was that? This is kind of cool. I was thinking that the last game would be kind of more like this. Like, jumping back and forth to, like, multiple types of uh, locations, but... I guess not. I mustn't distract my mother. What if I do? But I mustn't. But what if I do? Oh, it won't let me. Flashlight? Hey, Mom! Mom! Mama! Mum! Mummy! Mom! Mama! All right. I don't think I want to go in this room again. It's annoying. I have to continue hunting the monster. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to shut you off. What if I use a mask to scare him? I mean, I need to make him trap for the monster. I did not read the rest of that. What did it say? I have to find hell and a rope. Did he say hell and a rope? Well, I know where the rope is. Give me that. Oh, right here. I think I saw a... Oh, a bell. Oh. Okay. Well. Um. Oops. That wasn't me. That wasn't me. <gasps> that was me. Oops. Where's there a bell? Why is there flies in mom's room? What's in this? Steve and Nancy. Aw. These people have the same name as my parents. Who are they? Why is this photo hidden here? Devolska. Arrested. Begin. What the hell does that say? Okay, it's like not English. As a child, I didn't understand why my parents behaved so strangely. Now I think I understand everything. Oh, I'm happy you do. I don't. Still don't get it. Bell. This bell's gonna take him to hell. Oh, gosh. <gasps> Let's roll. I wouldn't run into my mom on the way back to my room. Good. What's that? Is that like a pressure cooker? All right, here, monster, monster. Okay, there's a camera set up. What's this? Yep. Damn, the clowns are back. I'm not down with the clown. You, you take your fago and you go to my trash can now. Oh, it's after three. I didn't even get to summer of 58 tonight. He'll be able to find a way out if he follows against the black darkness. Follows against the black darkness. Should I turn off my... Oh, shit. Second part. What the hell? Uh, that was a bad idea. Okay. Yo, it's like way dark. It's not even light out here. The trap is ready. I need to go back to my room and go to bed. Okay. Trap <laughs> this beast. Three hours later. It's 
creeping. He's creeping. So when I hear him outside, do I have to jump up and go shut my door? Let him attack my mom and not me. Okay, go. Whoa, that was intense. Yep, did I call him the right name? I said Bozo, right? I hid the body here. I need to board up this passage, the passage to this room. Oh, no way. Okay. Board. Alright. Now I've got this house all to myself. What? Oh. Madness in Act 5. What body, though? My mom's body or the monster's body? Was my mom the monster? Oh, my mom was the monster, right? He didn't attack her. Did he attack her? I don't think so. I think she tripped down the stairs and died. She was the monster under the bed, I think. Hmm. Hell, I don't know if you spelled it right either, Nick, but uh, yeah, we're, we're talking about the same guy. You're just trying to scare me. This is your only escape. Told you. Ever. I already killed you, you hag. <laughs> Feel free to scream. Never. Whenever you want. I right. think I would scream. Nothing scares me, though. I still, like, don't understand what I'm doing here. <laughs> I, like, run back and forth. I click on the door sometimes. I zoom into the door sometimes. And then usually something happens. This time it's not. Somebody, like... Can't push them out of the way this time. Oh, letter. I avoided the underground subway so that I would no longer face my fears. Until this day, I managed to cope with them. Oh, I can move him now? Get out of my way. Get out. So, whoa. Something unknown scared me. I was afraid of non-existent monsters, and it was just my imagination. I didn't want to believe that my mother was the real monster. boy who disappeared six days ago was found by local residents. I already read this one. You. Who do you think you are? After I was abducted by the maniac in the clown costume, my consciousness separated from reality, and I began to plunge into the astral? The astral? <laughs> it just made me Grab that one's boob. 
<laughs> it didn't give me the hand thing anywhere besides just right there. I'm such a child. <laughs> you made me touch a boob. Tonight, two patients escaped from a psychiatric hospital, a man and a woman. They present themselves as a married couple. Enter into trust and can harm others. Be careful not to come into contact with them. If you suspect anything, call the local police. Oh. Is that them? Well, let me dismiss this. Okay. It's these crazy Steven and Nancy. Wait, are they like serial killers? I need to look up who Steven and Nancy are. ST. Okay, Steven and Nancy. Um. Keating Crown married. Who is the the Crowns? It doesn't say anything about like serial killers. Yeah, I, I guess there's just some like millionaires. Name Steven and Nancy. Okay. The people depicted in the photo were my real parents. I couldn't put it together then because I was too young to understand it, but now I understand. Oh. Oh, they killed my real parents and acted like they were my real parents? So what about my dad? He was like a crazy person, but also I liked him a lot. The red sun lights up the path of the white light. Night. He will be able to find a way out of it. Out. Uh, let me restart. Sorry. The red sun lights up the path of the white night. He will be able to find a way out if he follows against the black darkness. A woman in a blue dress whispered to him, Be strong, my white knight, for there is a struggle ahead of you for the green meadows. The knight found a way out, how to free the flower meadows. To do this, he needs to return to the dark land and defeat the black witch. And he did. The sun shone a bright yellow light, freeing every corner of the green earth from the darkness. Uh, am I going to need to know the order of these? Like the star and the cross and the six-pointed star and the triangle and stuff? One, two, three, four. Shit, maybe I should write these down. I think so. Um, one is star. Two is an iron cross. Three, six point star. Four is the, I don't know, the bonk thing or something. Five is also an iron cross. Oh, I just found a really fast way to draw an iron cross. Do four lines, like on the outsides, and then do like a kind of a V between them. You can do it way fast that way. Um, six, upside down triangle. Is there a seven? Oh, seven is the Trinity. Eight is also a star. And nine is a circle cross thing. All right. Hold on. What? what oh, yeah. Okay. These symbols mean something. Oh. Oh, I have to touch them in order. Shit. <laughs> Ooh, whoops. Okay, star. One is star. So, oh, star. Dang, dang boob again. Um, two is iron cross. Three is a star David. Wait, what's that? That's not something I've seen. 
That's a different sign symbol over there. What the hell is that one supposed to be? Star David. Um, okay. The Oh well, that one changed. Right there. And then an iron cross. I don't see one. I guess I'm gonna go with this. Okay. The triangle. And the Trinity. Oh no. Okay. Oh yes. <laughs> okay. And then the star. And then this thingy. There we go. Hey, who are you? Oh, is that me? Yikes. Doctor, Peter, are you ready to talk about your childhood today? No, it was pretty rough. I just don't like to bring it up. I like to suppress it. From an early age, my life was... Okay, I guess I will. From an early age, my wife, life was a nightmare. After my mother disappeared, I lived in an orphanage. I didn't tell anyone what really happened. Just like I'm not going to tell you, because I really wanna, don't want to get into it. Do you still have nightmares? Yeah, it's... You know, maybe. At the shelter, my nightmares stopped. I couldn't stop thinking that I had killed my mother. I've lived with this pain, this guilt, all my life. Now I found out that it was runaway psycho who killed my real parents when I was very young and took over our lives. Now don't ask me any more questions about all I really wanted to say. How did you know that? You know, I just pieced it together in my dreams. Okay, I'll tell you. Today, after all these years, I went astral again. I saw everything that happened to me at that time. Is that where you met her? And what happened next? Well, I had to touch this mannequin's boob. That was kind of weird. I conquered her and overcame my fears. And I realized that when I was a child, I saved myself. Yeah! Beast mode. I don't think so. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's been following me this whole time. Oh no. Cool. How long was that? Over an hour! Gosh damn! Literally takes me twice as long to play any game. <laughs> but it took me a third longer to play the last one. Freesound.org. Oh, whoa. Oh, he's got all these people doing music and SFX, huh? Sound effects. Cool. Cool, cool. Just like his followers and such. All right. Hmm. Neat. This is a good name for the soundtrack Astral. I guess that's their name for like Lucid Dreams. Going Astral. Going to hyperspace. That's like that's probably a cool name for like a DMT trip too. Going astral. Sock, you need to get your name on there sometime. Translate it into German. I can help you with that. Maybe soon. Heading to bed. Have a good rest of the stream. I'm heading to bed too, my friend. So thanks for kicking it all night. Wait, this game ended the same as the last game. Not really ending. Whenever it's supposed to end. Son of a gun. Alright, well, I'll be going to bed fairly soon whenever I figure out how to get out of here. But yeah, thanks for kicking it in, Tronix. Oh, 
Oh, cool. If a nightmare has haunted you once, don't think it has let you go in the end. Nice. All right. Do my sign out now for YouTube. Also, why does this thing keep popping up tonight? Okay. So that was Find Yourself. Also kind of similar to the last game. Some weird stuff where I never quite understood what I was supposed to be doing, but I kind of was able to stumble my way through it anyways. Um, not a bad game, but I definitely think the next entry in the Emika games library is when... Did I say library? Library is when it gets stepped up to a whole nother level of scary, of of awesomeness basically it's it's still not like super like linearly focused like this was a linear game but both of the games have been linear games but they are a, a lot of backtracking back and forth to make it linear and i i think the next one's not quite as bad and one of the scariest games ever made i think you're gonna like it and i like this one too it was um it was decent Pretty cool story. Not the best, though. But pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Hmm. Let me think of what else I need to say about this game. Um, what are my final thoughts on this? <laughs> well, I don't know. It hits me really hard every time, Nick, when I'm like, I think I'm going to get it done faster this time, and then I don't. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Trying to think of what I have to say about this. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, so far, I think it's pretty cool to kind of see the progression of Emika games, especially knowing where they're at now. But as you watch through this marathon, and you'll see how their games kind of progress and probably how I start to enjoy them more and more. So I I have enjoyed both of these two games, but... Um, and, and this one, Find Yourself, I enjoyed more than the last one. especially liked it because it was shorter. The last one I started, it started to really drag on once I got to like the two hour mark. And this one just took me an hour to get through it, probably half hour edited, so. Yeah, uh, let's see. Uh, stay tuned for tomorrow for Summer of 58. Peace out. All right, I'll hopefully be able to edit that into something decent. It's kind of hard to like do stuff that I don't know why I struggle with like um doing something that kind of comes natural when I'm just like playing not on stream and it's like I it's weird cuz I I'm going to show everybody like what I just did. Um it's just weird doing it. I guess like weird showing stuff before I edit it, whenever it's something meant to be edited. And I kind of like will pause and like add ums and stop and think and mess up my words and stuff. Um, I don't know. It's just kind of strange to do that on stream. I'll get better at it though. <laughs> hey no problem mel um yeah i should i guess uh, probably tomorrow night maybe tomorrow night i don't know if if my wife goes to bed early enough tomorrow night i will be streaming summer of 58 probably um may yeah maybe I don't know. I've already streamed Summer 58. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just do all these on stream, probably. Um, I feel like I'll get a better product if I don't stream. I actually, I know I'll get a better product if I don't stream it. Um, just because the quality of my recordings are higher than the quality of my stream. Just like, like the literal quality that I capture. Um, and I would like to have like a really good quality Summer of 58. But it'll be good enough.
Sorry for the abrupt change in sounds. <laughs> awesome, Mel. Awesome. Um, yeah, man, I don't have a video ready for tomorrow, I don't think. Yeah, I need to start editing these. And that, they're going to kind of suck to edit because I did not do a good job. Like uh, Ethel, I did a really good job with uh, Ethel. It was pretty easy to edit to make it a VOD. Um, I don't think I did a good job at these. This is going to suck. Listening to what, Sock? Are you behind? I feel like Sock might be behind right now. Oh, Ethel. You were listening to Ethel? Or... Oh. <laughs> yeah. I guess it was just like the abrupt change is what I was apologizing for. Three thirty, man. Well, this is gonna be the earliest I've went to bed in a long time. If I don't sit here and start getting my editing ready, which I need to, man, it sucks. I don't have a video ready for tomorrow. I don't think. No, because every video that I've tried to. Like every game I've tried to, I, I've had such, I had such great luck with games last week. And then like, since like Thursday, I had just a hell of a time, uh, getting games recorded, but there's this one game that I started. It just came out with an update, which is good. I started to play, which is a pretty cool game. It's called Amygdala. Um, and it's not what I was expecting in a game. But it's got some cool looking stuff in it. It's very, it's a very weird game. But it's not what it looks like from the trailers at all. It's like a, I don't know. It's hard to explain what it is really. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's a weird one. Let's see. Is there anything? Ooh, what is today? Oh, it's the 18th now, isn't it? <gasps> oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to have to try to get through all the rest of the Emika games tomorrow night. Because Tuesday, Alone in the Dark comes out. Shit. Actually, I'm going to try to record this right now. I wanted to get this out before the game came out. The Alone in the Dark demo or prologue or whatever. Um... Which is I'm I'm so looking forward to this, but it's it's going to be a big game. It's going to be more than one streams probably. It's more of a Sunday type of stream, so it sucks that it comes out on Tuesday. I wish more big horror games came out on Friday so I could stream them on Sunday. Um, Amygdala is really gross. Suck. So <laughs> um. But what's weird is like the game doesn't exactly uh, revolve around being gory and gross. Like it's it's got some gross looking stuff in it. But when it's in the it's like a it's almost like a Brainiac game. It's really weird. It like evolves around like uh, literature and stuff. Strange. It's different. It's weird. Um, and I I definitely need. I started. As the minute it came out, I installed it and started playing it. And I, ha I got like one crash. And then I was like, man, this is kind of crazy. I was like, some other games have came out. I'll just play this other game and have a video like ready, like by tomorrow. Like this one's probably going to take me a couple days in Migdala. And then it took like two days before anybody had a video out on it. And when they did, like that dude got like thousands of views, <laughs> like so fast. And then like two days later, like only three people had videos out on it. And they all had a lot of views. And I was like, shit, I should have just stuck with it and got it done. But there was just some other games that I really wanted to play. Um, but Alone in the Dark comes out on Tuesday, I believe. And there was this prologue. I 
I've put out a video on it already once, um, like a year ago, and it was amazing. And I kind of think I want to put out another one for like new viewers and stuff. Uh, also to give them like a little taste of what I'm going to be putting out soon to kind of get people hyped up. So I think I'm going to try to record this real quick. It should only take me like 20 minutes, I think, to get through the demo. And um, possibly even be able to get out the full video tomorrow if I can do it without making any cuts. Fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, I kind of did miss St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> um, yeah, I basically did. Like, I, I knew it was St. Patrick's Day today, but I didn't wake up until like noon. And then I was in my office making thumbnails literally all day after I woke up. Two thumbnails all day long until the stream started. And they are not even great thumbnails. Pretty good, but they didn't really do the job. Like, I thought that winter survival thumbnail was awesome. But I don't think I had very many views on that stream. I think it was like nine or something. It was really pathetic. I think I had nine people in the chat at once. So that's funny. Everybody that watched the stream was all in chat at one time. Uh, yeah. Right now, it's only at 12. Damn. That's so bad. Oh, oh shit, it's up to 27 now. Okay. Never mind. It's up a little bit, but... Yeah, at the, at the, at the end of the stream, it said I was only at 9. This one's uh, 44. That's pretty good. That's a, one of my better streams, I think. Yeah, it definitely is. Yep. The Emika has potential. Uh, yeah, for sure. Like, a lot of people love Emika games. Especially, like, my next Emika stream, I'm going to be getting into Summer of 58. And, um, September 7th. And Father's Day. Um, yeah. They're going to be, it's going to be way better, I think. Oh, the thumbnail? Yeah. Oh, I did make the, uh, here, let me show you. Uh, it's, it, tell me how you like this. I made the, um, the different version for you. Uh, the one with my face in it. Uh, I'm going to change this shit. Damn it. I need some chapstick. Thumbnails, thumbnails, thumbnails. Imica. Imica, 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 Imica. Right here. <laughs> uh, I didn't quite do it right. I should have put the baby's head over top of mine. But it's funny. <laughs> There's the version with my face. I just, I had to do it fast. And, um... Uh, yeah, but then I didn't end up using it even. I know, Mel. I, I'm I'm excited to play it for the second time. Like, I don't really remember playing it the first time. I mean, I remember playing it, but I don't remember the game. I just remember enjoying it and uh, thinking at the time it was like the scariest game I'd ever played. I was surprised how scary it was. Like, there was, like, play points where I, like, didn't want to keep going. It was, like, it's, like, scary, like a horror movie scary. Yeah. Yeah, that was a cool experience. But, yeah, it's been long enough. That's, I think that's kind of cool that I've been doing this long enough now that I can play the same games over again, and it's like I'm playing them for the first time. I feel like that's pretty neat. And I've been wanting to do this with the Emika games, actually, for a long time. Oh, did I? I do. I was I was tired during that, wasn't I? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> well, I hope I've been getting a little bit better at that. Although I can't say for that second revile stream 
I was quite looking at the floor a lot. Or I might have been looking for... Oh, I was scared. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I remember definitely being scared. I remember that scared the shit out of me. It was. It was scary. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I'm going to jump off here so I can try to hurry up and get this recorded and hopefully get out something in the morning. Probably won't happen, but maybe. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And uh, hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Was it right after Bigfoot? Oh, I, I think you're right. I think it was right after Bigfoot. I remember, like, I, I'm kind of... um always been a little bit like shitty that I played all the best horror games like right when I first started playing horror games and that was like a long time ago when like my quality wasn't as good and stuff and I wasn't like used to horror games so they were all like even more aggravating to me than they are now um like a lot of them I couldn't even like finish <laughs> me and Mel staying up till three in the morning trying to figure out what the fuck to do next Hey, good night, Juice. <laughs> yes. Yes, you did, Mel. <laughs> oh, all right, guys. I will hopefully see you tomorrow. I'm not, I, I can never promise any th streams throughout the week, uh, but I'm going to try to do them as much as possible. And, um, you know, hopefully I do them every day, but maybe not always. So if I see you tomorrow, I will. I'll, I'll you know, post ahead of time. Hopefully, try, I'll try to. And, uh, yeah. Good night, y'all.